I was a star. <laughs> Sign the league, ask anybody in Cape Town. Mm. I used to score goals like crazy. And as I came there, he says, I'm a scout of Hellenic Football Club, professional football club. Okay. I'm here to make sure that we offer you something to come and play professional. Remember, uh, I'm African speaking mm. and, and, and I've got my one friend, Enver. Yeah. He's a nice looking straight hair colored. He speaks mm. English. <laughs> So I hear he said, no, because Mark is going to travel. They're going to get airplane. <laughs> now I hear airplane. He said, are they going to give me airplane? <laughs> he said, no, man, they're going to fly with the airplane. <laughs> so how it happened then, Dave, uh, in this gang life in Hanover Park, we used to, I come from the back streets mm. and we were called back street kids. Okay. Right? This is the name of a gang. This is the name of a gang. Mm. But we are kids because at, at school you get bullied. Okay. But then while you got bullied, we big, there was a couple of big oaks now. Mm. So they're like, no, we're no more going to be a, a, a backstreet kids. We call it backstreet boys. Ah. So now this is a real thing. Mm. 80% of my friends passed on yeah. of this gang life. And um, it wasn't that I wanted to be. It was a survival for me in the jungle. So you also... So I had to belong to one of these... These gangs. These gangs. Yeah. Because I know at the first flat, if I go past on the second flat, but at least on the third flat, I'm with these guys. A week before the FCON Cup. Yeah, I was making my mind up, and the coach came and put that thing, two million pounds in a three-year contract, not to go to the FCON Cup. If you ask me, who told you to warm up? And you can't do that anymore. You have to wait for the coach. I was gonna say, I thought I heard the coach, <laughs> but then I was warming up. By the time he said yes, I was here. Yes. Two minutes I scored the first. Two minutes later I scored the second. It was history. Twenty-seven years later, Bafana hasn't won nothing. I think you asked me that first question. What must we do? Mm. We need players to be hungry to play overseas. King King David Studio Podcast. The year was 1996. South Africans were celebrating like it was Christmas, but yet it was the, it was in February. It was the 3rd of February, 1996. And we're recording this on the, what, first, second week of Feb. So it's really around that time when South Africans, I remember I was at university. No, I just finished university. I was looking for a job. I was driving a taxi in Mamelodi. <laughs> and, and we were celebrating... Uh, two goals that changed the cause of South Africa's soccer history. I have a feeling we've gone back backwards, but that's a different discussion. And those goals were scored by Mark Williams, and I'm really happy to have him in the studio. Mebra, how are you? I'm fine, Dave. Thanks for having me in the studio. Um, I've been just taking it easy, you know, just looking where I can make changes in life. Yeah. You know, coming from that as a kid, mm. growing up, had some dreams, vision. And always want to make sure that I achieve uh, most of that um, dreams and goals that I had. And, and God was good, yeah. you know. I mean, uh, from a kid that had five brothers. Jeez. Um, yeah. And, um, you know, I think this was this was our, our house. This you room? Know, this, this room, a little bit smaller, yeah. Was a house was all a, on its was own? Was a house all house. on its own. Yeah, well, this is how we stayed. <laughs> And then sometimes, you know, when it rains, the water comes, you just move that way. <laughs> you know, you put and, a bucket um, there he, and you move to the side. Yes. Yeah, so, so you know, um, and my dream was always one day to buy my mother's house and uh, mm. just to get that feeling out of it yeah. and to know what it was the way I lived Yeah. Have you bought your mom that house? Well, um, I think that 92, um, because I, you know, I played for a professional. Mm. And, um, you know, there was a, a, in 1990, I was a second top goal scorer. And I thought that, you know, I wanted a signing on fee. Mm -hmm. And um, the funny part is um, the owner, George Azadakis, yeah, mm -hmm. he was the, uh, the owner of 7-Elevens. They used to have that stores where you yes, buy everything, yes. bakeries and things like that. And um, he asked me, Mark, did you have a pie and a Coke? I said, yes. He said, that's your signing on fee. What? And uh, people were laughing. And you still stayed at Hellenic? I still, I, 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 stay, <laughs> I stayed there that year, yeah, because mm. I got increased from 200 to 250 then. <laughs> so, um, that's, a, that's a monthly salary. <laughs> that was a monthly salary. And, um, you wow. know, but uh, I, I learned a lot. You know, I, I, I must say, um, you know, coming from that uh, white mentality, because it was a white team, basically. 90% mm, yes. where Kevin Hunt comes from. Remember um, Hellenic well. Yeah, yes. you know, uh, Mark that passed on, Mark um, uh, Byrne, Budgie mm. Byrne, the father. Oh, yes. So there was a lot of character in that team, and I think yeah. I learned a lot from them. But the question about the house. What happened is that I think that uh, during, when it came 91, mm. um, I went back to Mr. George again and I asked him the same thing and he asked me, did I have a pie and a Coke? Oh, yeah. And I said, no, I didn't have a pie and a Coke. I tried <laughs> to be clever. <laughs> and um, he says to me, well, you should. I said, no, let's talk about the signing on fee. Mm. 
And he says to me, no, I'm not giving you a signing bonus. I said, well, I'm not signing. I signed a one-year contract, but those years, when you sign a one-year contract, yeah. you belong actually to the club for life. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that was it. The only way if they can sell you to another club. Oh, yes. So um, I, I didn't stay out of uh, football for about five months. But in the meantime, I was playing for a, a Thursday league, mm. uh, a Wednesday, Thursday league, semi-professional league. <laughs> and these guys were giving me 2,000 in a game. Better than what he better was paying than, you. Better than what he was giving me. But the word came out that I said to them that I, I'm not afraid because I didn't sign any contract, I yeah. remember. And they said to me, Mr. George is coming tonight. I said, well, let him come. Uh, me, I'm here. Mm. I'm here to play because you guys have paid me. I've got my 2,000 rand uh, <laughs> per game. And um, he came there actually. And um, yeah, they were all scared of Mr. George. Yes. And that night he, he came with the cops and they said, please, Mr. Williams, we'd rather give you the money, but uh, we don't want you to play anymore. <laughs> and um, yeah, I stopped there. Uh, I went the Monday to the office and um, he said to me, he's got a trial for me, mm. Blackpool. Blackpool was a team with a lot of talent. Mm. I think Jerry Casano played for them, Shoes played for them. Uh, uh, may they soul rest in peace, uh, John mm. Shoes. And, um, you know, they had a good team. And I went down there actually... Um, with Khaled Pasmo. Yeah. He saw this remember, also, geez, yes. Man. You may yeah. say all these names. <laughs> yes, because, yeah, I think, you know, just what I heard, I mean, he was the first black multimillionaire mm. uh, in, the, in, in the country. So for me, I, I was looking to how I can make money <laughs> to buy this house. <laughs> yes. And um, apparently, um, they said, no, um, it looks good. But the only problem is Eleni, Eleni wanted 80,000 rand for five months loan. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of cash that's at that a, time. That's a lot of money. Yeah. And um, he said, Mark, I can't. As much yeah. as I would like. And I was there for a week. Hmm. And the Friday, uh, the Saturday, I went back uh, on my way to Joburg. Yeah. And on my way to Joburg, I'm standing at the airport now. I'm waiting for my flight. You know, and um, I just hear somebody call me, here, here. What, but is that, is that one of your names? That's my one of my names. I don't even know. <laughs> but that voice, that sound was familiar. And I hear, hear, hear again. And mm. I, I'm like, no, man, this must be. And I turned around. It was a great king of South Africa football, Joe Musono. What? They played against Amazulu uh. the Friday and the Saturday, the Sunday, actually. Uh, the Sunday, they came back. Mm -hmm. And he asked me, hey, man, what's been happening with you? <laughs> I said, well, listen, yeah, I'm in Cape Town. This man doesn't want to pay my money. And doesn't want to sell me. He doesn't want to <laughs> sell me. So me, I called. He said, please. Promise that you just come with me back to town. Yes. Uh, by Tuesday, I'll make sure you got a contract. So you didn't get on your plane. I your didn't flight. get so I made a U-turn. I made a U-turn <laughs> because on my flight now going, I, I went with with Jomo. Yes. He put me in a, a pink Cadillac. Like the, um, there was a hotel actually there. There was a club there next to it. Mm. So he put me there. He said, "I'll come and get you tomorrow." Yeah. And um, it was quite exciting. The the next morning they picked me up. Yeah, his offices were in Small Street actually. Mm, mm. And um, he says to me, "Look." Um, go train with the team. Let me do what I need to do. And I went to go train with Cosmos. But I must say it was a big open, uh, eye opener for me. Yeah. What, uh, was, what was so different about that? Because about at that? Atlantic, it was all kick and run. Remember, okay. I'm talking about 90% white guys here. Mm -hmm. and oh, yes. five guys here. No, no. There was no skill. No, 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 no. <laughs> we had some great players. I mean, like, like, what, like Caswell Newman, mm -hmm. Reggie Jansis, um, uh, Nevin Payne. Uh, there was a sport of players, Carlos does Neves, yes. but then the rest were robots. They kick, they, <laughs> anything that move, they kick. <laughs> Including humans. I, I, I'm telling you. <laughs> and um, that was our game plan, you know. Uh, it was that they get the ball, and I just make the runs behind, the, and it was, and Kevin Hunt, and they, uh, Kevin Hunt, the coach, yes. and they were good, and I used to score goals, and that's how we used to win. Yeah. And, um, you know, fortunately, um, the Tuesday, um, Jomo said to me, I've got the contract. Mm. And I was quite happy. I but, was but, like, but isn't it, do you don't you still have the eighty thousand rands that you have to sort out first before? I you was leave? quite surprised how Jomo got it. I I I, I wanted to ask him, <laughs> but you know uh, I know that some or another he had a lot of power that time, mm. and people had respect for Jomo yeah. Sono. So how he got it right, you know, for me it wasn't important because there was only five months, six months left mm. in, in, in in the season. And that time the season starts from January to December. Oh, yes, of course. It was from January, you yes, remember? Yes. <laughs> so now he says to me, um, so what what salary are you looking for? I said, look, um, if you can give me 2,500. And he says to me, but uh, that's not what I heard uh, what you were getting. I said, look, I don't know what you, what what you, you heard. heard. What you heard. And, but that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I thought if I can get a thousand and I'll be happy. <laughs> you were negotiating high. Yeah, yeah, I have to start high because <laughs> I've learned, you know. Mm. And uh, he says to me, Mark, I, you know, because I heard a, a lot of times people say, hey, sometimes if you get check number 15, mm. if you go there to, to the uh, bank, that mm. check is going to bounce. So you must make sure you're in the top five, <laughs> then you can get your salary. Yes. So, um, you know, you have that in the back of your mind. But he says to me, look, I can give you 1,500. Mm. Now, why you, where you were sitting there, but I almost jumped on him, but I kept a serious face. <laughs> and in, in, my, in my head, I was like, oh, thank you, God, for this money, you know. Jeez. Thank you. Oh. And I wow. said, um, he says, um, uh, what, what else? I said, yeah, let's talk about the signing on fee. Mm. Um, I said, look, now that we got the salary out of the way, I said, let's, let's put 25,000. And I'm hoping that he said, I mustn't write it down 25,000 because I, I can't write it. I was oh, like, no. just get to the... Yes. And he said to me, look to me, he looked in my eyes, you know, he says to me, look, if I can give you 15,000 mm. now, you <laughs> see the check now, there, there was a net bank, I remember, mm. at this office we were sitting, he showed me, you see that bank, you can take the check and change it there. Right now. You know what? I was in my inner inner soul. I just said, God, thank you very much for wow. what I must, you know. And then that dream and that vision, all those things as a child growing mm. up, I came back now. And I said to myself, um, I just need one more day. I said, John, you know what? I'm not actually worried about this, but I was just happy yes. that I got it. Yeah. And I signed the contract. I said, just give me one day. I want to go back to Cape Town, but I'll be back. He said, look, we're playing sundown Saturday. Yes. Okay. I said, I'll be back Friday. I promise I'll you. I'll play. I'll play. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm ready. In action. And he booked me a flight. So I came at the house and I said, I looked at my brothers and I said to him, listen, yeah. That time, we, I don't know if you remember the carpets. It was the silver, the plastic carpets. Yes. You know, we had these, uh, call, call it these couches. Okay. You know, uh, one, one, there was one out, but there was a brick to support it. What? My mother had a bedroom suite. I think that sometimes they don't even know it because they were laying skew. Mm. That is how <laughs> all of those things just fell apart, you what? know. Because it was a and, disaster. Um, uh, yeah, but, um, you know, God is good. I, I, I had a great belief in that, you know, in the man that gives you strength if you work hard as a, as a youngster That's and you can true. follow your dreams doesn't matter where you come from yeah. and um uh, I, I saw a taxi coming a 16 16 seater taxi yes. i think you mentioned yes. also you used to drive taxi yeah i drove taxi and i was i was young and, young and, and now i've got a bit of you know a bit of attitude you yeah. know sold this up <laughs> and i stopped the taxi and i said oh, i'm sorry man i want you to take me to the to the town uh, i want to go get some stuff and there was about five people but i said but i don't want anybody else in the taxi <laughs> only me and my mother <laughs> <laughs> you had a bit of cash. I had a bit of cash <laughs> because remember I was putting five thousand here, five thousand there, yes. two thousand in the socks. I was fifteen thousand up, yeah. and that time it wasn't so expensive. No, now, no, uh, no. So we, uh, the people said, "No, Mr. Williams," because I heard in the radios and on TV it was Mark oh, Williams. Oh, the Sandro story Cosmos. was already it out. It was already out. So <laughs> now you know I'm, I've got that <laughs> big thing, and um, I went. We went to Uncle Joshua doors. Of course. And uh, I bought everything. You know, and it, it, it gave me that that feeling of. I'm on the right track. Yeah. You know, I just need to work a little bit more harder because that vision that I have that I want to buy my nice. mother that house. Amazing, eh? Do you know do you know when you say this, that moment surely must have been special not only to you but to everybody else around you. Yeah, David was. Um, I mean, the people, you know, I, I just got a lot of blessings also. Yeah. I think as youngsters, if you do the right thing when you achieve money, you'll always be blessed. Yeah. There'll always be somebody looking out and say, well done. But you see, sometimes the life, they don't see it. Mm. And if you don't take a time and, 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 and just sit back and say, well, you know, you've done well from where you come from. Yeah. Then obviously it, it, it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell in and and, yeah. and you don't pick it up, but um, you know uh, after that, you know the the Uncle Joshua uh, truck came there. Sure. Um, people, my mother was giving her second furniture to other people, Speaking and course, they, you know that, that bed. Was, I'm telling you, it was, was, it was somebody else was getting it, and you know, <laughs> and um, I came back to Cosmos and um, I played with a great film singer. Whoa. Yeah, um, he didn't sign his contract also. Where with with Cosmos. At Cosmos because he also wanted apparently more money. <laughs> <laughs> so Jomo said to me, "Go speak to him," uh. and I said to him, "Father, I'm coming here. The only reason why I came here is because you were here." Mm. And um, you know, uh, he signed a contract. Um, five months later, I missed the top goal scorer with one goal. Jeez. Bennett Masinga at Sundowns had 22 goals. I had 21 goals in five months. He's still a leading goal scorer even now. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and I think Phil had about 19. We scored yeah. goals, like hat tricks every week. It was crazy. Um, at first, they didn't want it to pass the ball. <laughs> Why not? Um, they didn't want you to score. Well, I don't, even, I don't know, but, um, you know, a lot of times we make jokes about it. I say it the way it is. Mm. Um, I think it's just a culture thing that where you come from, what you is. But uh, mm. I remember one meeting, uh, the manager, Roy Matthews. Okay. Was the manager, but Jomo was the manager and the boss at God, once. Of course, of course. And um, I was afraid. They asked me, is there anything that you, I wanted to say? Because after three games, I didn't score. And I, and I, say, and I was brave. I said, yeah, I want to say something. I said, I'm looking at these players, and they all have white and mm. blue. And I've also got white and blue, but I just want to know, why is it that when I go near post, they pass the ball far post? Mm. When I go far post, they pass the ball near post. I said, I'm part of this team, so let me. Yes. I think... I was shocked, but they got the they second of I scored hat trick. <laughs> and it went like it week in, week out. The guy wow. that got the most hat tricks in South Africa, a guy called Noel Cousins, he had 11, I think 8 or 11 hat tricks. I went wow. past that. Jesus. So you must imagine I was scoring goals. And um, yeah, I had a good season. Mm. And Jomo promised me that I was going to stay. But unfortunately, end of the year, I didn't have the money and I had to move back to Hellenic. Yeah. Ah, near. We'll go back to that. I want to I wanna start. I, 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 this is a mental note going back to Hellenic. I want to start at the beginning. From home, you, you already described your household. Let's talk about your neighborhood first. Uh, where were you born? So I was born in a place called, um, they, they call it Kakia, but it was in Rondefle. Okay. Rondefle, and it was sink, sink houses. Mm, mm. You know, it was almost like a, a, a farm. Yes. Not oh. a farm, but it was like something like it. There wasn't mm. bricks. Okay. But if you go uh, the street a little bit forward, they had this house with the bricks, and it was colored people staying yes, and things yes. like that. And um, like I said, um, it, it, it just gave me uh, a looking. I mean, I was the third youngest mm. uh, and the third oldest in the group. So there were six brothers yes. all together. Okay. And um, from a younger age. middle child. Yeah, this, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think sometimes God gives things for the one in the family that can take it. Mm. I don't think he's going to give it to somebody that's got a weak heart and things mm. like that. Mm. A lot of times you'll find that in families. Yeah. And people are like, but I wonder why not. But if they just give time and they look, they say, now I can see why. Mm. Because I think that if it was maybe anybody else, maybe they wouldn't have the head. Yeah, and I'm just true. talking about experience because, you know. So um, living in that, that, that situation where my mother then got a house where they moved in Pogwood. Okay. But before that, at the age of six years old, the fair, fair, farewell, farewell came there mm. and they said, look, it's unhealthy to stay with six kids mm. like it, this. It's small. It's small. Yeah. We have to take two away. Sure. And they were going to take me and my brother. So my father was staying by his granny, by his mother in okay. Claremont, okay. which were a white area uh -huh. in Cape Town. Better. Better, yeah. yeah. Now there is bricks and it's English. Mm. Now I'm speaking Afrikaans. Yes. You know? <laughs> But, um, you know, and, and uh, I was like crying because, you know, I was six years old and I was still uh, breastfeeding. Mm. Ooh, and I was very close long. with my mom. Yeah, yes. I was very close with my mom. Breastfed until six. Until six years wow. old. Yes. So when they took me away, you know, it's a big part that they took away from so me. So they did take you away? They took, yeah, they took. But luckily we went to my father. Ah, okay. Which I didn't know. Yes, yes. You know, because it was three from the first and the three was from the other father. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my stepfather. Okay. And, um, you know, um, so from... That situation was much better. Mm. You know, went to um, Rosmith Avenue, became a 100-meter sprint. Wow. Uh, never played football, actually. Uh, started playing rugby. Because remember, it's a white area. Mm, mm. But um, I learned the quick way in the rugby. I think I was, I thought I was quick. <laughs> they got me by the scrum. They threw me against the fence. <laughs> and I were, said, you, were you skinny? Yeah, I was skinny. Yes. And they threw me against the fence, but they threw <laughs> me up like a fly. And the, I remember the, the, the one of my class teachers came, they said, are you okay? I said, no, I don't want to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes were so big and I stopped that game. But um, at 11 years old, mm. now this is five years later, my father was not a wealthy man mm. and he was also not a healthy man. Oh. Uh, but he bought me a ball, a soccer ball for my 11th birthday. Yes. Uh, the eight of the 11. Okay. So it was my crown birthday, 11 years old, 11. Wow. And he gave me this ball and I think that I fell in love with the moment when I got this ball. Um, I was stepping, I could tap probably for 10, 15 minutes. Non-stop. Non okay. Non-stop. I could keep the ball from here to the shop up and down on my head. And um, a 
couple of times a car went over. Because mm. remember now I'm living in a white area, cars are driving. And then I just take a patch, like, you know, the wheel, like bike thing. Mm -hmm. I used to just patch it again. That ball had a lot of patches, but... <laughs> it lasted long. It lasted long, you know. And um, until uh, somebody saw me there and they asked me to play for a team called Clearwood, mm. which were amateur then. And um, unfortunately, I played for that team, yeah. Why do you say unfortunately? <laughs> like because... It's a bad thing. Um, uh, for me, it, I, I wasn't I wasn't good in in school. Mm. So for me, it's like I was. Why do I have to go to school if I can just play the game? Oh. Which I didn't understand. You really? know, you need to have a bit of education, sort of. To it, it helps actually. It mm. helps a lot. Uh, you know, in in your years when you finish playing, you can always go back That's onto true. those things. You know, yeah. and um, well, so while I was there in Claremont, um, I remember. You know, uh, now I'm speaking Afrikaans, mm. and. Um, 90% of the people speak English. Yeah. That's a big step for me. And um, that braveness come, but there was a girl, a girl called Judy. Mm -hmm. And everybody wanted to be with Judy. <laughs> now, if you play the Western game, we should shoot now. Sometimes they shoot me and I say, must because I wanted to have a kiss. You get a kiss at the end <laughs> of the movie. <laughs> and uh, that's how we play Cabos and Crooks. Yes. And a couple of times, uh, you know, I, I was like, and I... And I and I got a kiss, you know. There's, you know, as a yeah, kid, you know, it's a pack. Yeah, nothing a pack, serious, you know, nothing yeah. seriously. And I thought one day I'm going to tell you how I feel about her. Yeah. You know, I think I was 12 years or 13 years old, and my friends were there, and um, I, I I walked up to Judy, mm. and something just came up, and I thought, oh my goodness, what's happening with the English? <laughs> English were gone, <laughs> Afrikaans were a bit mixed, and I said, Judy. Um, I love you. <laughs> oh, I love you. My friends that couldn't understand English, they were laughing because <laughs> they said, what is this guy trying to say? He must say, I love you and instead of, I love you, I love you. I love but you. I think I just got self-struck and yes. you know, it just took me over by surprise. But that's how brave I was and yeah. I realized I had that, yeah. that gift as not being afraid to mm, ask. Mm. You know, there's a lot of things that sometimes in life that I've learned is not to be afraid if you're in a situation to ask, there's two yeah. things that people can say. Mm. They can only say yes or no. That's but true. if you're a genuine person, you'll get that answer yes by a lot of times you'll be surprised yeah. how people help you. And through my years when I was down, people always remember the type of person I am. Mm. You know, when I had, it was nice when you give, I didn't want it back. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like before you even ask, that message was long time sent to that person. Mm. And you're like, wow, how did I get this? How did I get that? It, it always looks like a surprise. It always looks yeah. like a surprise, but it's not a surprise mm. because you have done that digging earlier in your in your, in your your career. When people used to ask me, please, can you go to the shop? I was quick. Mm. You know, tonight I was sitting, I got a plate of food. <laughs> you know, hot food, it's not like the same year. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because, yeah. I mean, sometimes there wasn't food in the house. I had to go ask for old bread. And then my mother used to make this fricadella with the old bread. I don't yes, know if you know yes, that. I know it was. But you know, but <laughs> sometimes we just way with, um, with sugar also. Mm. And, um, you know, so I know what, what it is. And um, I know the other side also, I have having millions and, and driving in private jets and, yes. you know. So um, it was just a good journey for yeah. me to, uh, to be a South African. Uh, a South African, you know, I don't look at, at color for me. It, it, no. it, it was never about black, white, yellow, and green. I think it's all about respect at the end of the day. Yeah. I can fit anyway um, if I get it back. And if I don't get it back, you will pick it up. That's I will make true. it clear. Yeah. You know, um, this is the way I go. And, and that's how I respect the game. Mm. I think as that youngster, when I played amateur for Clearwood, yes. I've learned a lot. I think I was a striker. Why do, I, you, why do you say you think at that at that level? How old were because you? Because I, I, I was uh, 15, 15, 16. Okay, okay. Uh, when I say I think, because there's a lot of times when players don't even know their own positions yeah. and they're playing in the first team, I find that there's certain players even now playing in the PSL that don't know their real position. <laughs> because Is it because, before you answer, is it because you're multi-talented or... You, you just don't know where you're really good at. No, I'd be, look, the multi-talent, because you, it's the same job, because mm. it's a team effort, first of all. That's true. But I think if you, if you can, if you as a person can identify what you're good at, mm. I think that is good. You will tell the coach then, look, sometimes, yes, you get played around left back, right back. Mm. But if you are looking the way professionals are playing, because we always say, ah, oh, you watch England and things, it's very seldom. Unless you are right back, they'll put you left back because mm, you got that mm. defensive mindset. That's true. But they're not going to put you up front. No. And extra and expose you. <laughs> so, for me, is that when I when I I, I I realized that I was a striker, is that 
when I was playing for 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 for, for Clearwood, mm. uh, the amateur team, um, I used to go to clubs and do yeah. what a 16, 17 year old boy do, yes. drinking and things like that. Yeah. But I know there was a time to stop. Okay. A certain time, and it went into my professional year also yeah. when I played for Lenik. Yeah. Because how it came, I was playing on a Sunday league. Okay. And I used to play three games on a Sunday. That's a lot. Taxi drivers like yourself, then <laughs> yes. used to come to my house and they had the soccer teams. Uh -huh. So one was from Amalodi, one was from Madrid, yeah, one was, was from town. Yes. But there was a lot of them they used to come at one stage. Jeez. So they knew that I was goals. They used to call me I'm a goals. <laughs> yes. Wow. And then I used to make money like that, Dave. You would I play to, for different teams. I was playing on a, I was playing on a Saturday yeah. for Clearwood, which okay. is the Federation. Yes. But then whoever comes here on a Sunday and I wanted to play for it because there were some gang uh, gang uh, leaders mm. that also had soccer teams mm -hmm. and they had tournaments. So for them, it wasn't about the money. It was always about winning the tournaments. Yeah. So there were certain guys of them that used to say, Mark, here's the budget. Try and get us a team, put a team together. Okay. And there were some talent players. Jeez. Some of them first had to smoke a button, drugs, <laughs> Before but they... you don't go past this guy. And without kicking, it's just a different <laughs> ball player. Yeah. And before this one had to play, he had to drink. Oh, and I yeah. had to get this team together. <laughs> but I used to say Kentucky mm. was a white man's sport, uh, white man's food then. Yeah. I'm talking about in the eighties. No, of course. And um, it stayed like that for a long, for long, a long, long time. time. Yeah. Sometimes you walk past a bin when you used to go to Musenberg. Mm. I remember Musenberg, you know. And then you're like. Hey, I'm smelling Kentucky and you mm. turn around you look but you know it's in the bin and you're like just looking if nobody looks and you put your hand in there <laughs> no it. you grab the box yes. you find out there's a, pe there's a piece yes. of meat yes. I mean I'm, I don't have to be the same I like how you even call it Kentucky it, there, there's someone who's going to watch this and say what is Kentucky we don't know what you're talking about because it's become KFC Ken over the years <laughs> yes. it's no longer Kentucky but you, I can tell how old this moment was it's yes. a really long time ago yeah and um, you know, you you take that box out and yeah. you walk, you walk, you keep it like you just bought one. But you know, <laughs> some of these white people they just had maybe you know, one bite, and one throw bite it and, away. Hey, but you know that was a nice, it was a nice dish. You know, you go to Musenberg where you had to go swim, mm. and then you walk there. You know, sometimes you know, you you, you ask people, okay, can I park your car? You get a mm. bit of money. Mm. But when you smell that Kentucky, you can smell it far away. <laughs> so the Sunday league came. Yes. And I I was smart. I used to say to my mother. Okay, I know that one's got money. Ask him for 200 rand. So I used to live in the lounge now. Mm, this mm. was in Pargood now, many years after. Yes, uh, after, after, after moving uh, from, with your dad. With my yes, dad uh, yes. from, from Claremont. Yeah. From Claremont. Oh, I, you had to go back home. I had to go back yes, home. But, yeah. but how I went back home from Claremont came in the 80s, 87. Okay. I don't know if you people also had it, but I think it was in the whole South Africa yeah. where they had that fight where, um, uh, the um, what do you call it, the white people just decided all the colored people that were in the area had to move to the area. There's a lot of that. They, well, of course. Call, I don't know what they, they area, call uh, Areas, a group areas act. I think uh, that's what it that was. That's what yes. they call yeah. it, yeah. So we had to move then from there. Uh -huh. So there was different places. It was Hanover Park. Yes, because I, I know Park. your story, it, our research of your story starts at Hanover Park. Mm. Yes. That's how the gangs, the gang life started. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So now, um, remember, I come from Claremont. There were some people from different areas. Mm. So it's like you put five animals together yeah. and any of them want to be the leader. Oh, and yeah. and that, that's how gang... It doesn't end well. No, it doesn't end well yeah. because I think 80% of my friends passed on yeah. of this gang life. And um, it wasn't that I wanted to be. It was a survival for me in the jungle. So you also... So I had to belong to one of these... This gang. This gang. Yeah. Because I know at the first flat, if I go past on the second flat, but at least on the third flat, I'm with these guys. How old are you then? Then I was now 16, 16, yes. 17. And I was 15, 16, 17. And oh, that's where you were also playing these many different games. Um, yeah, yeah. But mm. the, no, no. Then it was only one Sundays. Okay. At okay. When I went that two years later, yeah. when I went to my mother. Okay. So how it happened then, Dave, uh, in this gang life in Hanover Park, we used to, I come from the back streets. Mm. And we will call Backstreet Kids. Okay. Right? This is the name of a gang. This is the name of a gang. Mm. But we are kids. Because at school, at school you get bullied. Okay. But then, while you got bullied, we be, there was a couple of big oaks now. Mm. So they're like, no, we're no more going to be a, a Backstreet Kids. We call it Backstreet Boys. Ah. So now this is the real thing. Mm. And, um, you know, I was in one of those flats. People, some of them know. And, um, yeah, um, sometimes when the bus stops, 
on the terminus. Mm -hmm. That's where the Americans, this is now known as Scorpions. <laughs> yeah. There you must run. These are different gangs. This is different gangs. Because yes, I know the Americans, the name carries yes. on even today. That, that game, yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, for me, um, now I was playing football and, and, and I had this life. But you, you're sitting like that and I'm looking at these LPs behind mm. you. Mm. And um, I actually uh, end up trying to get away from this, become a DJ. Okay. <laughs> the DJ story is funny. I used to be at the place when I was in Claremont. Mm. There was a place called Kenwood Center. Okay. What is I that? I still know. What it's is a, that? It's a center yes. where there's a lot of shops in there. Okay. Like, yeah. yeah. A typical center. Yeah. A shopping it's a center. shopping center. Yeah. yeah. Kenwood Center. Mm. And um, there was a guy at Musica. And, um, you know, uh, because my granny was struggling, mm. you know, now and then I had to do a bit of soap lifting. Um, <laughs> to how easy you say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was survival, Dave. Dave, there was nothing. I'm not ashamed of saying it. I think the day that they caught me must have been probably five years five years later. Yes. But it was my own benefit. Wow. But when I did it for my family, I wasn't one, one scored. And you did it a lot I of times. I did time. it a lot of times. Yes. I, at one stage, people thought I was a security because I was so smart. I used to come there where they came in at the back. Mm -hmm. And then I used to tell the securities, I had some two or three friends. Yeah. And I used to tell the security, listen, yeah, don't worry. I've got this number five to number 15. I've got that short run. You go up. <laughs> and they thought I was a security. These I played like as the other securities. And you would take stuff. I was I was telling the other guy, you take the trolleys, you put in there. We did a Christmas shopping for my three brothers. I used to put pants. So I used to put the stuff there. The other guy used to put in the trolley. Wow. Then I go to the securities and they thought I was a security. And this was done for survival. For survival. Because you were not doing it nah. for recreational purposes. You it, were not enjoying this. I, I wasn't enjoying it. Yes. But um, I couldn't see my brothers not having Christmas clothes or Easter and things like that. Yeah. And, you know, God was good. Like I said, I never got caught. Jeez. You know, I did it for <laughs> many times. Until the very last moment. The last moment, um, how it started. Yeah. Uh, and I remember, um, I was now fine. I was playing three games a Sunday. Mm. So this gang life that started in Hanover Park on one Sunday afternoon. Now, we didn't have watches. Mm. And um, I was now DJing, playing 50th parties, yes. you know, um, and then sometimes I would go to um, Mitchell's Plain okay. and play Metney there okay. because I used to watch this DJ. He had one box, one big box. Mm. And sometimes he'll take the one LP out and then he'll put it back. Mm. And then, but the LPs were all in line. Yes. Right? Now, you, it looks very, for you to stand from this side looking up, it looks very intelligent. Like, mm. you know, he's looking for LPs. No, no. He's, they he's one after each other. Yes. And he told me the secret. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, I can do this. So I said, he said, Mark, all you do from there, when you play the one, you just like keep, you know, put your head on the earphones. Yes. And then you just like pick up the one, but you drop it because you know you're going to take the other one. <laughs> it doesn't, it's not fancy. And I made some money. Yes. So that shoplifting came out, went out of the way ah. because yeah, I made money, so I didn't have to go and do mm, that stuff. Mm. But then with the gang life, still I have to go back to Hanover Park. Um, yeah, it, it, it was something that sometimes I used to go on a Friday disappear, mm. and then Sunday when I come back, I hear one of my friends or two of my oh. friends, one is dead, one is serious injured. Oh, no. And yeah. gu were guns no, already no, there, part of the story? No, there was no guns. But there's a steer. It was steer. It was knives and pangas. Jar. So I used to go to Kenwood Center and I we used to, to steal the pangas and knives. So you had a, I don't, you yeah, had a knife? Yeah, I had an old copy with me. No, all, all the time. All, all the time. Even I had, when you were going to play soccer. <laughs> when I, no, no. When, so you must remember, when I played soccer, I was protected. Yes. Because remember, I was an, another person's turf. Ah, of course. So remember, it's only when you have that stuka, the tattoo mm. of the gang that you belong to, yes. then you are one of them. But I used to be smart. I never got the tattoo of the gang. Of any of the gang. Of any of the gang. Yeah. How it started, actually, one Sunday, we're playing the dice game. Mm. And um, at certain point, at three o'clock, half past three, we know the weather. Yeah. But I'm like, no, man, it's not four o'clock. I didn't have a watch, mm. but it just the shade came over. And I looked up, I saw about 30 guys at the gate. Now, I must remember, I've got two flats this side, two flats that side. It's that way, or the back. Mm. As I turned around and say, hey guys, what? There was about 20 there also. Yes. He said, uh, we were eight guys yeah. from my gang. Hey, we all took out our copies. You. So there's only one way out. It's forward <laughs> it's or forward. back. Yes. Right? You're going because to you fight them. Yeah, I can't fly. <laughs> no. I can't go too far. I can't jump two stories. Uh. And uh, we turned our backs uh, against each other. 
and we said, right, let's go. Sure, sure, sure. It wasn't a nice afternoon to remember, but it was, like I said, survival. Did, did people die? People yeah, no, no. I, I think probably over eight people died. What was day. the fight about? Do you remember? Remember, so it's like they got the information to try and catch us. So they got the right information where they're going to get mm. that gang at that specific okay, time. Okay, okay. You understand? So people do research and say, hey, you know what? Those guys, they like to sit there. Mm. And that's how they caught us. But what is the root cause? And I guess it's still ask, I still ask the same question. What is the root cause of, of fights amongst gangs even now? You speak, so, of, you speak of turfs. Yeah, turfs, yeah. In, in that context it, of, your, of your gang, yeah. what the hell was I, it about? Yeah, you know, it's, if, you, if you sit back now, like I'm sitting here and I'm yes. looking and I'm thinking now, there was no reason. Because it's not like we went to their turf and looking for trouble or they went to our tips. It was just a bragging rights. Yeah. I was there and we did this with that gang in their turret and their mm -hmm. territory. And we said we went there and we did that. Bragging rights and people died. Yeah. Nowadays it's more about drugs. Yes. The fighting you can't, for yeah, rights to For rights to yeah you, you can't area. come to me. Of course. And the, the, and then there's guns. Mm. So some of them they put this they, they, these youngsters on a tuck or on some high thing yeah. and then they give this guy a gun sure. and then he goes in there like he's Superman. That's crazy. And uh, the hitman, you know, that time there were genuine hitmen. Yeah. Now, nowadays you get a 13, 14 old hitman, he'll come and he'll take you out with a gun. So You uh, survived that day. I survived. Clearly, you're I here to tell the story. That's, that's it. It's in my book, you know, wow. but I, you know. Do you remember that day like it oh, was yesterday? Dave, Every moment Dave, of... Of the I, I'm telling you, uh, it's like I, I'll never forget. I'll never forget it. That's wow. why I know that there is a God. Going back to a, a reference to God, why do you think you survived that day? I just think that I needed to do more things. Yeah, you know, um, to to achieve more things because um, if if He had a plan for you, you know, uh, there's no way that anybody can take that plan away. Mm. And I must say that God had a plan for me because mm. I think after that uh, I just went from. High, 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 and I, I can't explain. Just then I just, stopped, eh? I just, yeah, I, 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 just, I just went up in my life, you know. Yeah. But um, that same day, I went home full of blood, my head, my blood, here, yeah, arms. So, and so you did get stacked, or it was somebody else's blood. Let me tell you. So, I came home, mm. and um, my whole shirt was blood, mm. head, blood was walking down here. Sure. Remember, I'm talking about 20 guys. They may be, say, they must have been 30, we were 8 or 40, like I can't, it was black, mm. like I said. And it was stab, walk, stab, walk. What? You know, like I said, four of my friends died that day, wow. and about 8 of them died. That's crazy. It was crazy. Even, the cops even came the, afterwards. Even the other guys must have lost of course, lives, of because course. Because, look, I must say, we were very, qu we were quick in life. No, no. Yeah. You know, I, if you said yeah, by the time I put in my hand, my knife is already up. Jeez. <laughs> you know, I, it's like you, the way I trained with a soccer ball, that's mm. how I trained with a knife. Wow. Because I knew it was me or this other person. That's it. And um, when I came home, I looked at the blood. I took home the shirt. I felt dear. My granny, because remember, I stayed at my granny mm. then. And um, you just hear the ambulance came out to pick up some bodies. You, you know, check, that time, yeah, no. Check what was going yeah, on with You know, blood. I see the blood coming from my head and I'm feeling... And I'm looking in the mirror and my and uh, my granny said, what happened? I said, no, there was a fight. And, you know, my one brother came also. My Actually, my one brother was a leader of the Backstreet's. Of you guys? Of our guys. Yes, yeah. But he wasn't there. Remember, they were with, he was mm. with the big boy. Oh, so yes, yes. We, come, we, we the other ones that come. So, yeah, you're, so, the, you're the next so, generation. So, so if basically. you want, if, if, if they're running, then you they, I'm the runner. Yes. <laughs> I run. And once I trip you, that's, so that's why I... That's why I I was so quick on a soccer field. That's I crazy. tell a lot of times, I make a joke. I said to people, when cops were chasing me, they, they could never catch me. Yeah, you're too fast. I was too fast. And I think that's also part of it. But it learned, it, it, I thought also uh, learned me a lot about mm, life, mm. you know, about respect and things like that. I'm, I'm interested in the, in, the, in the story of you getting into the house with blood all over your shed. Do you discover that you've been steaked or there's nothing showing? Mm. I feel the pain. I feel oh. the pain, yeah. I could see... Um, how my the knife you know knife goes into people's bodies how it, the pangas came and um that's just crazy and i sat there and i looked and i'm like no man are you serious and mm. I, I didn't have one wound nothing out of and i'm talking about now 20 30 people nothing so some or another the monday my gang fellow oaks says something is wrong 
Mark must be the spy. Oh. He must have gave the information to those guys, and they made a way for him to go through. That's why he was not, he not he stabbed. He wasn't stabbed, yes. And they call me. They call me in front the Monday. Mm. And they said to me, look, um, you were there. Mm. What happened? I said, yeah, I was there. They said, no. What are you? Mm. Are you one of us? I said, yeah. They said, so was the stuka. So was the tattoo. Well, yes. Because you've been with us because of your brother, but you need to show us. <clears throat> and uh, they said, okay. I said, no, I don't ever. They said, okay, now listen here. You got, you see that house now? There was a lady that used to keep her knives and pangas mm, in sure. that area. She was a senior lady, mm. Mamuna. <clears throat> and she looked at me and she's like, um, so I said, look, you're going in. You're coming out without that sticker, we're going to take you out. Yeah. My own my own brothers. Sure. They said, but if you want to be like a Morphe, they call you a Morphe, like, mm. like a gay guy, that's a language. Yes, yes. You can jump the fence and go, but if we get you, we'll take you out. So you must go and never come back. We, so where do I go? Jeez. So I go. I said, no, I'll show you guys, man. I'm one of I'm one of you brothers, man. I can't be going with all of you and you and sell. I mean, some of my brothers also then he felt, yes. you know, some were serious in hospital. Some died, like I said. And um, I went inside. And uh, this lady called me. She said to me, Mark, uh -huh. <laughs> I believe you're ready. I said, well, I don't know if I'm ready, but I know that I can't go to the front door yeah. without the stuka. Uh. She said, what happened yesterday? Do you believe in God? Mm. I looked at her, I said, do I believe in God? I said, I know I, I know there's somebody like that. Mm. But what happened yesterday, now I've got a, I'm a great, great, great believer of it. Yeah. She said to me, um, I can give you some good news or bad news, but see that you haven't been stabbed yesterday. Let me just show you what the stuka is. Yeah. You ready? She took a needle and they take this plastic, it's a plastic zombie like, Almost like this wire. Okay. They burn it. Is. They burn okay. it. And it becomes ink. Mm. They put the needle in the ink and then they 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 yeah. that's how they beat. Yeah. So they must make PSK. So she did only this piece here, Dave. Fuck. Yeah, this there piece. it is. There it is. As he did it, I said, ouch. And so <laughs> he said, Mark, yesterday about almost 150 knives went past your head. This is a needle. And look at you. And look at you. She said, I know what they told you. You can come out the front door, they'll take out or be like a Muffy and, and jump and the fence. Run. Yeah. I said, look, it's not my culture to run, but this is also not for me. Yeah. I said, I always wanted the way out. She said, yes, there is a way out. I believe your mother's got a house. Oh. She got the house. I remember I told the story earlier mm, where we stayed mm. in the Cinco. Yes. Now I believe she got a, she's got a house with, with, with bricks. Mm. It's a place called Powerwood. Okay. <laughs> you can go there and go look for her. Now I'm like, but where's Pargood? Yeah. She said, right, so when you move out here over the soccer fields, you keep on running. There's a road, you just run. It's like Metro, it's like N1, you go to Pretoria, mm, you just run. Just keep going. When you run, you come at another road, but you just ask people there, they'll show you how to go. And I think, I just hugged her, I said, thank you. Yeah. Did she let you I, go front door? No, 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 they were waiting the for bed. me. Jump the, I had to jump. Because if I go in the front door, they're going to take me out. My own friend, my own gang members. Sure. And these are brothers of yours? Brothers of mine that I've been with for five, five years. That's crazy. But because I never, I, I was very smart not to, because it wasn't that I wanted to, but to, like I said earlier, it was something that you need to survive to belong to a group. Yeah. It's like you got the lions, you got elephants, you got tigers. But if Everything. you were the tigers, you're safe. Yes. At least, you know, you're safe. Yeah. You, if you go to the lions and that's how the, the groups were. So I jumped the fence and I ran. I never looked back. I ran, I ran. You found, um, was it Parkwood? I came here in Parkwood. I came there at about four o'clock the afternoon, at about eight o'clock. Yeah. The house was just brand new, also building okay. lights, you know. Okay. And somebody said, um, I said, there were three brothers, you know. Mm. I said, and eventually I got my mother at about eight o'clock, four hours later. Jeez. I think it was the greatest moment, a life changing in my, in my youngster. Do you know why the, the lady, because surely... She understood the gang, the dynamics of gangs. That's why she was important to, to your gang. Yeah. Do you know why she let you go? Because she told me straight that I don't belong here. Uh. She could see it. You know, I always greeted. I never had something. When there was fights, 
um, it's rather I'm busy DJ or I'm in the movies. Okay. That time there was also 12 o'clock movies mm. at night, Friday. Mm. Okay. So I used to go to a place called Kismet in Athlon. Yeah. So they used to play three movies, karate movies. I and, know, I remember you know, that those time was John Wayne and yeah, you yeah. know, you come out the movies, Bruce you Lee. a couple of, <laughs> and I was very good in, in acrobatics. Okay. I, I did gymnastics also. Yeah. So I could do smash to 20 down the line, Jeez. you know. <laughs> now, it, it was discipline that I had, yeah. which I had, but you know, you can't run away from when you, you can do everything outside Enopa. Yeah. But as soon as you get into Enopa, you're part of the system, you're, you're part, part of, of the gang, you're part of all of that. And um, yeah, so um, she let you survive, really. Yeah, yeah um, you know, uh, because she gave me she gave me option. You know, yeah. I, I didn't think there was option. And I bet you there's a lot of kids out there that sometimes they don't have that option. But now it's not so bad. Mm, mm. You know, especially if you want to follow your, your dream. Yeah, is a uh, shall I say uh, old man or mm -hmm. young man or Mark Williams mm -hmm. that came from a rural area Jeez. that sometimes he had food but it wasn't where I came it was where I'm going Yeah. and uh, I made sure I gave everything training on my own my friends were laughing at me it was raining and I was running I mean you said you were walking Kilimanjaro oh. I, I can just imagine what it is it's crazy. I was saying I was running like up from here to four ways uh, yes. backwards and people like that guy's crazy in the rain <laughs> but they I could see something there. I just I couldn't feel it. Mm. But like what said, is it? What that kept you? That kept you doing stuff like that without guidance, motivation. It was all coming it, from you. It, yeah, it, it's just going. It, it's it's like when when I hear this, when I heard the voice vision, mm. because it's something as a player. When you so in in something anything that you 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 do, you can see it before before you yeah. before the game starts. You can see it already mm -hmm. coming, mm -hmm. but it needs discipline. And it needs um, a bit of putting yourself um, in it. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. I mean, I knew uh, it was meant for me to score the two goals. I just didn't know when. That's but I had it. to make a move. Yes. And we'll get to that part. But oh. um, while I was with my mother, and this is where I told you about the taxi drivers coming on there, and I played three games on a Sunday. Yes. Now you're living with your mom. I'm yeah. with my mom. There's you're, no you're, gangsters you now. You survived. I survived that, yeah. Did they ever come looking for you? Um, no, no, no. They, remember now, this is Anna Park. Yes. And Anna Park. So we're talking about Pulakwani and Pretoria. Oh, two uh, different worlds. Two different, yes, yeah. Two. Yes. And, 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 and that time in Park, there wasn't, there wasn't, a, there was one gang. Called, okay. So there wasn't. <laughs> nothing this, serious. Nothing serious. Yes, you, yes. you could go to, up to them and have a conversation, yes, you yes. know. But they could see <laughs> that I, I had my, yeah. I could, you know. You just didn't have the stuka. The stuka. Yes. And they, they, they knew also that the people that come and pick me up on a Sunday, yeah. these were main oaks from gangsters also. Nice. But then I wasn't anymore there. Then they just used to call me Ohat. Ah. <laughs> for a nickname of your smart guy. Okay. Right? Yes, like yes. And, and that's it, yeah. So I had these three brothers that used to go to school. And um, now I used to tell my mother, you get 200 mm -hmm. by that guy in a battle Kentucky. <laughs> and and I'm laying here and my mother look at him. And he's like, Auntie Sila, can you tell Mark that um, I need him for 12 o'clock, man? We got mm, a game there. Mm. So, but, uh, I just hang on, but me and my mother speak Afrikaans. Of course, yes. yeah, no, uh, yeah. Okay, mommy, ask him that. But then my mother was very smart because my mother used to be a drinker. Mm. She a straight Cape Town woman, she clever. had to take a yes, drink. Yes. And I, I never faulted her, no, yeah. but there was always food. She always made sure there was food. The kids were looked after. And then sometimes... I used to tell my guys, but how do you get it before that other guy? Because he offered 400. He said, no, because I know what to take your mother. Mm. A two liter Virginia or Flagon, ah. the white, the wine. <laughs> so he got first privilege. So then <laughs> my mother would tell him, okay. So when I was finished with one game, yeah. I would play in Mannenberg. Mm. I would play in Pretoria. When I'm finished, the taxi is already waiting there to take me down to Madrid. Sure. When I get there playing there at Madrid, I'm playing the finals at four o'clock at another place. Yeah. You were so busy. In, so I'm Sunday, I'm, I'm, I'm tight. I'm and you dead. scored goals. I scored goals <laughs> uh, like crazy. These guys used to come every... And if you're early, you get me. Yes. If, if you're late... And your I'm, mom, your mom and is, my a, mom is knew, an agent. Yeah, she knew who to, <laughs> who to target. Because Jeez. the battle can... No, then battle can I became so famous. <laughs> you know, because... <laughs> I was like, no more white people's food. I can eat my own bed. That's amazing. Do you know, interesting how your career has become such a celebrated career, but it started with such dodgy dealings of <laughs> struggling to even, because you, you didn't get 
proper training. No. You didn't you, you didn't get proper guidance. You just went straight from uh, putting the ball on your head a hundred times to playing in the field. Yeah. Um there was something that I, I realized that I couldn't kick left. Okay. Um because I was right footed. But then um when I was there by my mother, yes. so they, they remember now, um all the soccer fields and tennis courts were the white areas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was no tennis court that I know that can None go this way to maybe now. But then that so I used to then walk over the highway, mm-hmm. the museum like highway, then jump the fence, then take a tennis ball and then kick left or right, left or right with okay. a tennis ball. Okay. But then suddenly the cops come, then I have to jump over uh, again and, yeah. and then go on to the other side. But I was used to it. Mm. I, Next day, I'm just back there, <laughs> training, training, and used to run. Yeah. And um, like you said, um, that um, mindset that I knew that there is something waiting for me, but what it is. Yeah. So I used to dream, and then it comes back. You remember two years ago that is it. So when I was playing now on a Sunday, mm. I used to buy a two-liter Fanta okay. and a, a pack of tennis bills or eat some more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so my three brothers, they used to go to school. Okay. But I saw them how to massage. I told him, mm. I said, right, whoever massages, you take that food, you take, but I'm laying there fast asleep, and I, and I say, bonus, when I say bonus, you can take one biscuit and half a cup of, uh, <laughs> hey, they used to, you ate the tricks, and I said, bonus, and yeah, they would, <laughs> they were working and, and, your and, and they helped me, and then yes. some of my mother would say, hey, the guys, they must go to school yes. tomorrow, and they were like, mommy, she I didn't get the bonus. bonus. <laughs> Jeez, and man. that was good massages yeah. <laughs> because you know I told them how you know they were doing I'm telling you the best massages uh, I had how did you get to know you needed that stuff were you um, exposed to people yeah, yeah I was exposed yeah, when I played for Clearwood yeah. you know when I, when I was 16, 17 I played for the first team mm. and when I played for the first team you know the muscles were sore yes. and sometimes when I used to run on the beach I used to run to the beach and Jeez. run in the sand yeah. nobody told me these things mm. And when I went on the grass, the pace becomes so quicker Jeez. without noticing. Mm. So that's why I can tell kids with injuries nowadays, if you want a quick recovery, you go to sea water, yeah. you put your knees in the, in the, in the cold sand mm-hmm. there, and just slowly, slowly walk in the sand because there's no pressure. True. Your foot will yes. suck. And I had a good recovery. Wow. You know, my injuries was uh, uh, two, twice already uh, ending career, mm. but because of that discipline I had. But, you know, just kicking left and right and doing things, and uh, when I played for, for Clearwood, and then I played the Sunday, and while I'm playing, I saw this white guy. Now the field is back, mm. and we're playing in Pargood. When I say back, there's yeah. not a place for you to come. Jeez. You have to stand on the flat to look oh, on the field. Geez. And people are waiting for me. Wow. I was coming so, so close. I was late. I was a star. <laughs> Sunday league, ask anybody in Cape Town. Mm. I used to score goals like crazy. Yeah. And I used to score goals in the Federation also. So in the Federation, I played for Clearwood. And um, I've achieved everything. Play of the play of the year, uh, uh, top goal scorer, this, mm. this. And, you know, you pray. And you're asking for things. Yeah. But you don't know sometimes what you're asking, but you just have that belief. And um, this one final I played. But I came late, actually. Mm. I didn't know. this team. My team was down 2-0. Oh, no. When you arrived. When I arrived, yeah. But while in the text, they changed me already. <laughs> and I got the team, and I look at this one player, I said, hey, what's wrong? And I can see he's dry. Mm. And I said, yeah, I know what you need. And uh, one, two, three, they made him the the, the, the scape. Mm-hmm. Nobody came past him. He was the best oh, defender. They make, him, uh, uh, yeah, make him a button, a, 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 yes, to yes. smoke, to, to, <laughs> to get the him. best ones. Wow. The other one, he had to have a drink because he's still shaking while I was talking now. <laughs> Uh, this is now second off, you know, and um, yeah, I, I scored, I scored the hat trick. Yes, and we beat team, them your three now. And um, yeah, we won the cup. Mm. And now on my way now, they said, "Hey, that guy." Now I'm I'm scared. Yeah. So now I'm thinking, what did I do last night? No, but I, I wasn't fighting. I'm no more in that thing. Yeah. I said, okay, I must go find out what the cop wants. Uh. So I see some of the players, they like to pull their pants a bit down. Mm, so mm. I put my pants a little bit down. <laughs> so I take two of my friends with, also colored guys, but his English is very good. Yeah. Yeah. He's, a, he's my translator. <laughs> the other one is just there to protect me. <laughs> so the one walk here, one walk there, we go to this That's white the gang guy. side yeah, of that's a coming gangst- into hell. That's the other gang side. <laughs> so I walk up to him just yeah. in case he wants to talk something. But while I'm walking, I'm thinking, was well, but what did I do last night? I wasn't out. I mean, I was in the house. So what yeah. does this cop want? And as I came there, he says, I'm a scout of Hellenic Football Club, professional football club. Okay. Now, I hear that name, Hellenic. Ah, mm, I know I this. I know this team, yeah. yeah. 
And now he said, Scout, that's not uh, it's not something that I know. But anyhow, he said, we've been watching you and um, I'm here to make sure that we offer you something to come and play professional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when he say like that, while this one is listening, because he's my translator, English yes. to Afrikaans. Yes. Remember, uh, I'm Afrikaans speaking mm. and, and, and I've got my one friend, Enver. Yeah. He's a nice looking, straight hair colored. He mm. speaks English. Yes. So I hear he said, no, because Mark is going to travel. They're going to get airplane. <laughs> now I hear airplane. He said, are they going to give me airplane? He said, no, man, they're going to fly with the airplane. <laughs> But but did you understand the moment, what it was? Because no, that's a big moment in I, your I, career. I, I was waiting for it. Let's yeah. put it like that. Because there was people that came, but never serious. And mm. I, I mean, Light Bodies came. Okay. There was a team called Santos. Yeah, Light Bodies Santos. I yeah. remember it well. And Duncan Cray, was a, he was also one of my heroes. Yeah, yeah. You know, I never saw him play because that time it was Federation. Couldn't watch professionals. Mm. If you were supposed to go and watch one of the Federation games, you will be suspended for two years only watching. What that was in Cape Town, Federation was the, white, the, colored, the, 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 the colored area, okay. And the professional was Hellenic and all of Cape, those. And, and all of the guys, yes. uh, the Chiefs and uh, yes. Cosmos. So, so watching was just was, watch, just go and watch there. Sure. He was suspended, sure. but what made it so interesting? There was one game I went to go watch, mm. so I put the baraclava <laughs> over my head. I went to go watch Kaiser 11, okay, against Cape Town Spurs. Mm. But what a game. There was this guy, Ace McNini. Mm -hmm. um, he did something with a ball that I only did it once against Sundowns, actually. He got the ball in the corner, one of the defenders came, he hit it with the back up in the air over the head. Okay, yes, I see that. That You see yeah. that one. And um, I never forget that one. That's the one thing, but there was skill. Mm. And I'm like, this league is quite interesting. But as it came, this is the league that Hellenic were playing in. Yeah. And... Um, I knew now this is Sunday. My mother had a couple of drinks. He said he wanted to talk to my mother. I said, yeah, you can come. Mm. So I thought, oh, luck, I, he's lucky if he gets my mother sober, <laughs> if he's got a drink in. And, um, you know, like sometimes kids, they're the same of their parents. Mm. You shouldn't. You know, that is tells you where you come from. Yeah. You know, because um, those are the people that when you were a kid, they were there to, to, to give you that, mm. that life, that hope, that belief, that uh, they worked for you. That's true. So now that you are something, and a lot of times I see youngsters, you know, they're not worried about mom and dad. Mm, mm. So my advice is just to never, never uh, look past those things. Those things are very important. Yeah, you're saying uh, don't ignore your parents, essentially. Never ignore, even yeah. if they're drunk, even if they're what. They'll always be your, they'll always be your parents. There's no other, you can't change parents. That's Brothers true. also, you can't change. And, um, you know, and I, and I took him there. Mm. And there and there, my mother said, you remember, you've been training for this for how long? Yeah. That's your opportunity, my son. She also understood she what understood. this was about. Yeah, yeah. she understood. And um, I said, okay. Um, she said, go and, and go sign. She and didn't, she didn't, what, there was no money. Obviously, at the time, there was no, no money on the table. No, there was You no, didn't even know. No, I, I wasn't interested yes. in the money. I just wanted to know that this is where I want to be. Mm. But remember now, the federation that I played with Claywood, that was like family. Mm. Because every Saturday we bride together, we eat his family. And they were not happy. Of course. They call me a, a traitor. So you had to stop work playing with them or now? Obviously. I had to stop, yeah. But for them now afterwards talking to me, they will be suspended also. <laughs> so they call me a traitor because I followed my dreams. Mm. Some of them had were teachers, they had good jobs. I didn't have that. Yes. Yes, my and I went to explain to them. But they're like, No, you're a traitor. You will go play in the white league. Mm. I said, My brother. This is my life. Yeah. If you understand one one day, you'll understand. But for me, and uh, it was a sad moment because, you know, um, everybody knows everybody in the Federation. Mm, mm. And some people, the gangsters gave my blessings, actually. <laughs> they were the ones. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, now, while I was playing for Lenik Professional Club, yeah. I went to go watch Clay with the amateur club at okay. Athlon Stadium because it was a bond. They would know that I'm sitting there they would stop the game. Really? On the speaker, on the mic, say, <laughs> Mr. Williams, can you please leave the stadium? My own colored people. What? I was crying a couple of times. I couldn't believe it. I thought, what is this? What is this place? What? Imagine a game gets stopped. Please, Mr. Williams, can you leave the stadium? You don't belong here. Just because you play for the white for guys. White, because it was my future. It was money. Mm. It was opportunity for me. Jeez. That's how I looked at it. 
I wasn't worried, but to walk down there, that stage, I took, I took a lot out of me. I, can I think for six months, I was struggling to, to get over. Mm. And then I thought, it's a dream. Let's go watch again. And they do the same thing. Yes, yes. So how did the gang help in that regard? So the one time, they were sitting there in a the corner. Uh. And they told that guy, you come up here. And come and get Mr. Williams, and you'll see what will happen to ah, you. Ah, when they made that Africa. announcement, they said, when they made that announcement, yeah. come on, fat, <laughs> come yeah. yeah, and that was it. But then I had to realize that I made a, a, a choice. A couple of years later, all of them came where I was. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand, but you know, okay. it was something that um, Andre Aron said, the goalkeeper mm -hmm. said that Mark, you were one of the guys that I looked up to, Jeez. and this was my goalkeeper that I played '96 with. He said, when you made that choice, I looked at you a couple of games afterwards. That's why I knew what strikers could do. Yeah. I learned from you. And that was very touching when he mentioned that. Mm. Thing, you know, Because you, did, you didn't know at I the time know. that you had other people who were looking at you as their, as their, their, their goal. Uh, their goal, yes. uh, their own, and, and then, you know, That's and um, after six months, I then never looked back and uh, yeah then i achieved uh, i played for lenick yeah and then jomo sono came on then yes. i went to sundowns how long did you play for jomo sono for for jomo sono i played for five months oh it wasn't long no know? five months you can look in the record five months 22 goals <laughs> uh for sundowns <laughs> i played for, for sundowns i played i think i played not even 20 games because me and the coach uh, Screamer Zabalala, we had an argument. Yeah, didn't get uh, along. Didn't get along. I yeah. said the way it is. I said it was racist. Yeah. And um, Elenik already then put the offer in for me to, to come back, back. To come back. Yes, yes. But I, on one condition that I get that eighty-five thousand house. <laughs> you wanted it. That now. I saw when I was running. You remember uh, the house I uh, told you about? Uh, okay. When I was training up in the rain, I said one day I want to buy this. So when they put that on there, for me it was just to go get that house for my mother. I'm a Sundowns fan. How was you say your time wasn't the best at Sundowns? No, it wasn't the best. Look, Sundowns, uh, it's amazing. People say they take they take the, the best players. Mm. They had the money from then. It is just a team that, that is, that's got that luck in finding the right investors. Yes. You know, they <laughs> had the right, Crocs, the Crocs brothers before that. Before that, they had uh, b b Mahobe. Thank you. Yes, I missed that. I missed that. That was a nice oh, you era. Missed it right I there. just missed it. Yeah, the Crocs <laughs> came in. Yes. And, um, oh, you, were, you, you got in with the Crocs. With, with the Crocs. The that's yes. it. With AB, AB and, and, uh, that, yes. and the Tessa. So, you know, that uh, I think there was two months left. And the reason for me is that, I, and, and still now, it, it, if you're a striker at Sundowns, mm. you need to understand the system they played because when you're a midfielder, you can have a lot of success there. Yeah. They played through their midfielders. True. You know, piano. Yeah, you, yeah, you know, you can talk about uh, the likes of Herola Khoudi. Mm. What oh, a player. Jezekri. Oh, Jezekri. Uh, you know, he gave me that number 11 Bafana jersey. He was the first one who had that jersey. Oh. And then one day I asked him the jersey, said, you know what, I'll give you the jersey the day I think you deserve it. He said that. He told me that yeah. for Bafana. Wow. I'll never forget that. But we'll, that will get maybe on another wow. day. So, and yeah, um, I went to Hellenic, um, mm. to Sundowns. And that, that year, when I went to Hellenic, uh, George asked me, he said, I must promise him one thing that um, now I'm, I'm waiting now, I must say that, I buy a pie and a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> he said that you promise you buy a 7 Eleven. <laughs> That's and I said, he still was, puts pie and a coke yeah. on the table. No, no, no. He gave me the 85,000 and that's I bought you. the first house for my mother. That's that, I think that was a great achievement in Plumstead, yeah. Just opposite uh, where my Parkwood is. But, mm. uh, you know, it was a, a, a nicer house, area. Nicer area, swimming pool, Jeez. you know. And um, yeah, she didn't know. She was like, oh, I'm happy for you. And I'm like, no, no, no. I'm happy for you because yeah. this was my dream as a kid when we, where I came from yeah. in that Sinkok where it was raining you had to move there and then being with Hellenic these white oaks that I spoke with you mm. know Kevin Hunt them they always say you know what if you have money you must buy in the right area yes. so I bought properties in Camps Bay Whoa. I bought in Bryanston properties and, and, and then I bought it was in cheaper, it was cheaper, cheaper yeah. Then, yes. so you know when I played whenever I went for a new team I got a signing of it I could buy, buy. properties and uh, <laughs> you know and uh, it, it was good so you yes. know that is just how I, I want to educate players also to say that, you know, cars, it's, it's, that should be a second option. Yeah. You know, if you buy three properties, you rent it out, you'll make your money back. That's true. It's a good investment. Yeah. You know, nowadays, uh, most of our players that I know then uh, were buying then, uh, the, 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 they were renting the house 
and buying the cars. Buying a nice, a nice, a nice car. cars. And, yes. you know, unfortunately, that is what I've learned. Mm. I could say I've learned from every aspect of the game. Through the white guys from Hellenic, through the gangsterism, gangsterism <laughs> yes. about discipline. You know, they taught me also discipline, you yes. know. They taught me about respect and discipline. Mm. And that's how I roll. You know, I can walk anywhere in Cape Town because I go with the belief and I go with the respect. Yeah. You know, they say if you go at the wrong area and looking for trouble, you'll get trouble. Absolutely. And I, and when I discovered that I was a striker scoring goals, is when I told Lenik that if I become the top goal scorer now, he must get me a trial overseas. Mm. And um, he says to me, Mark, you've got it. But because, remember the first contract I signed, mm. I thought it was a one-year contract. That was like a life contract. <laughs> but I've learned also when I came to Joburg that you must always sign. Make sure it's in black and white. Mm. So I said, Mr. George, you don't mind putting that in black and white that you'll get me a trial? Yes, yes. He says, Marky, don't you believe me? I said, Mr. George, <laughs> it's not about if I don't believe you. Mm. It just covers you and it covers me. I became the top goal scorer. Sent me to Belgium. And that's how I started my and career. And that's where you started, eh? 93. What, 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 getting getting to Belgium, because you're one of the early players yeah. uh, to end up in that. Uh, uh, it's the same era as uh, Phil Masinga yeah. era, when, when they yeah. kind of got introduced Luka, to that. Yeah, but, yes. uh, Phil Masinga, my story is based, he was in Italy. Mm. I think Lucas was, uh, Lucas Lucas was, was in Ligia. Yes. Uh, Mark Fies was at Fulham. Andre Aronso was, and I think Sean Bartle also came afterwards. But yeah. Sean Shoes, uh, you know, there was a lot of players. Eric Tinkler that was playing there, but I was playing in Belgium. Yeah. And uh, it was different. Now, a kid that um, never finished matric, mm. that can speak now Engl uh, Afrikaans and English. And a little bit of English at this time. Uh, no, oh, no, 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 it's no, it's oh, no, it's, got it's not. It's, You've got yeah, with Atlantic, no. Yes. English was now, my, it's almost like my first language. Yeah. And then I, I'm speaking French also now. Sure. Yeah, we're part of France because now I was in Brussels. Mm. You know, Brussels was dominant uh, 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 French speaking, mm. you mm. know. And um, yeah, and it, it was quite interesting. It was very cold. Yeah. But I knew that young kid that wanted to achieve his dreams. I never felt it. Did you struggle? Game time? Natural, the reason you're there was to play the game. Yeah, I struggle with the food. Not so much the game, with the game time. Yeah. I, from the word go, um, I, I played a couple of friendlies. I scored. Mm. Uh, the one, the one thing that I found out is that at that stage they were looking for a big physical striker, okay. and I wasn't that type they were looking for. Yeah. And um, you know, it's amazing that I have to say, may soul rest in peace. There was a guy called Stephen Cassie. Mm -hmm. He was a captain of Nigeria. Yeah. Now I met him because we played against him Bafana mm. prior, prior to this ninety five, ninety six, and uh, he was a big player. Yeah. And um, you know, he taught me a lot of things. One Sunday, he picked me up, mm. pressed the roof, came down. <laughs> he had glasses. He said to me, take some beer at the back. He had yeah. a, a Heineken. <laughs> cool I think guy. that's how I got in. Yeah, cool guy, music yes. playing. You know, he said to me, I'm taking you now into Mr. Williams. You just relax. Yeah. And this was, is in Belgium. This is in Belgium. Yes. Now. He took me to another another side of Bel Belgium that I didn't know. So I get Flemish and friends. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. But this was where we were dominating were Nigerians, a lot of Nigerians, and it was like a cool place. When you come there, you can hear the music, you mm, know, and mm. you can see the, the, the way they dress. They they, they dress for to kill. Yes. Glasses, yes. Yeah, cap. They look and, cool, yes. You know? <laughs> and um, yeah, um, when I played there, and I remember the coach came to me and he says, look, I like you, but you, unfortunately you're not the person I'm looking for. Mm. And I said, look, I tried my best. I was supposed to be at two weeks. Mm. It's a month now. Okay. And Stephen told me the Sunday, take your bags. I'm going to drop you at the airport. It's over here. It's over here. But I bet you, don't take the flight because uh. I know they'll come after. <laughs> and I'm like, but when must I take the flight? He said, right, if they're not there, I will be full because <laughs> you have to go, then you book. Uh. And I got... It, Drop me, said, oh, good luck, but I'll see you at the club maybe I'll see you later. Up, later. Yeah. <laughs> and I waited there and I'm like, oh, but the trials was okay. I scored in every game. But this, this guy, he wanted a big oak. Uh. And the chairman wanted me because they were impressed, you know, for a big oak. Mm. I had pace, yes. a, but intelligence, there, but mm. yes, the physical part for me wasn't there. Yeah. Not the physical, but the, he was the, 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 the tall, tall man, guy. Tall, big you. guy, yes. <laughs> and I said there, and the next thing, I just see people coming in there, security says, hey, wait, wait, wait. I make like I'm checking in. <laughs> like in the movies. Like, yeah, I'm checking in. Say, hey, wait, <laughs> come back. And I signed a three-year contract. 
What? And I uh, never looked back. Got goal of the year, scored goals there. Was a, was a nice. Th- th- who, who motivated for them to go fetch you? Well, Stephen told the chairman that, that I just dropped I, I, I just dropped Williams because <laughs> it was two weeks. And I said, no, no, go get that man. <laughs> it's the coach or Williams. And uh, I think the coach didn't stay long there. You know, um, he Jeez. stayed and uh, that's how it came. Uh, the, the way to England, you know, mm. that first three years, the food was difficult. Not the What weather. was it? What food didn't you get, get along with properly? So for meat, a small piece of uh, fillet. Uh. You pay like something like five hundred rand. Whoa, which was a lot of money then. Of course, you know. And for me, um, it was pasta. You know, breakfast it's a, a croissant. Mm. You know, a cro- you want croissant with the Williams <laughs> or cheese and donuts. You know, I want papua, I want <laughs> jungle yeah, oats. You know, proper. proper. You understand? They're not a croissant. And then I have to go to maybe to Holland where you can get certain places. With, yes. You know, and this is uh, early nineties. Yeah, this is before, early ni- before ninety four. Ninety. This is ninety three. Ninety three. Yes, just before. But you know, when you when you start scoring, then you start. Uh, people start treating you differently. Yeah. Um, then they start telling you, no, you can go to that restaurant, you can go there. Mm. And then people take you out. Then you don't feel it. Then it becomes... It's not you, so you bad. Become, yeah. you can, they can cover your costs. They've been covered, yeah. But yes. um, Belgium was quite interesting. Um, what team was it? What team? It was RWD Molenbeek. Okay. So there was two teams in Brussels. Mm. It was Anderlecht, which is the Champions League team. Okay. They got the beautiful set, they got the money. Yeah. Then you got it's like Fulham and Arsenal, Fulham and okay. Chelsea, the smaller okay. team like Fulham. Yes. You know, so you were playing for the, the small, smaller, the smaller team. Yeah, I was playing yeah. but they wanted. But in the in the in the in the league, in the top league. Yeah, in the top yeah. league. Yeah, the yeah. first. Yeah, the first. First, premier, first premier, division. Yeah, yes. First division. Yeah, and um, they, but they wanted. They put in an offer for me, but they know that if they're gonna let me go, <laughs> they the neighbors. The you yes. know, and the fans were great, man. Yeah. Great fans. You know, they loved uh, Mike yeah. Williams. Oh, they South loved Africa. me in Brussels. Oh. Um, but, you know, while I was there, my agent was making all the money. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I thought I was making money. <laughs> I think I bought my first property, but he was making all the money. What, was, was it a decent sign-on fee? Um, yeah, it was a decent. For you? For me, for, yes. Yeah, for me, it was a decent. You know, if you, as long as you can buy properties for me. Was, yes. And um, the funny part is that um, the properties that I buy, nobody stayed in it. That was uh, because it, it, it happened so quick. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And um, why I went a couple of times to this English pub mm-hmm. and have a couple of drinks. There and the one guy came to me, says to me, after two years, two and a half years, he says mm-hmm. to me, would you play for my team? Okay. Now I've got a couple of drinks and I'm thinking, <laughs> who's, who's this guy? guy? Yes. <laughs> you know, but this looks like a nice guy, you know. And I'm like, okay, who's your team? He said, no, um, Wolverhampton Wanderers, Wolves. Ooh. And I'm like, Wolves. And, uh, this, is a, this is England. This is England. Yes. I'm like, where? Is England. Huh? He said, yeah. Uh, if you can get the trial, I'll go, man. Don't worry, man. I said, just get him a drink. No, he said, no, I'll pay for it. Because he came to watch me. Yeah, oh. And um, that was his team. Mm. Wolves was English team, but he was, because he stayed in Brussels. And um, he said to me that Tuesday, he phones me, he said, I've got the trials. Come. On the phone, can you, I said, you're joking. I thought you were joking, man. I thought you were drinking. Yeah, you, he says, no, I'm serious. Yes. Flights, everything tomorrow. I said, oh, you see? I said, yes. Now I'm thinking, what, what am I going to do? How are you going to tell? I'm going to tell the team, yeah. Because now I'm a key man in the team. I'm one of the top players scoring goals. But you see, this is where I come back. If you don't learn when you're young, it's going to be sad or too old when you want to hear, when you want to learn when you're too old. Yeah. You know, they said it's, you're never too old, but I think that there is a time and a period for you when you're young. Mm. And listen to people, because listen is a skill. Absolutely. I think that was one of my gifts at the Linux. I wasn't the most uh, talented player, but I was a good listener. Yeah. And the coach called Budgie Byrne, he played for England 96, he told me that. Mm. He said, Mark, you're not one of my talented players, <laughs> but you're a good listener. Yeah. But if he Why do you take instruction well? Is that what he means? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. what it means. Yeah. But the only reason he didn't know is that because I couldn't understand English so nice. Okay. So it looked very interesting for me to make like a <laughs> <laughs> You would look it straight in the eyes to try to figure out what that is. Said, he man. Yeah. <laughs> that's and um, all those things came. Yeah. And um, I went to the club, uh, chairman, I said, look, unfortunately, there's a funeral in South Africa. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I was very quick in thinking also, <laughs> thinking out the box. Yes. That's why I said, you have to be in the kitchen where it's hot of course. to score. Because mm. if you're outside the kitchen, you're not a striker. Never. That's why you find out a lot of players don't identify themselves knowing what, 
what is their best yeah, position. Yeah, that's true. It's something that you have to search for. Mm. You are the only one who knows. That's why yeah. if a coach had to tell me that, I would tell him, no, that's not me. I know. And um, so, you know, from there, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. So the guy said, will it be here by Sunday? I said, look, I'm going to try my best. It's probably, the, I'll think the, the funeral is tomorrow. If I can go there, they said, yeah, I will book the flights. No, they were flexible. <laughs> but the book the one. flights. Uh, I said, no, don't worry. I've got, I'll book it myself and then mm, I'll send you the email. Meantime, I got into the flight, went to London. Yo. Yeah. Came there, Graham Taylor. Mm. The coach, he was a coach of England and he's a coach of, of Hampton. Mm. Training the first. Oh, they could do both. Both what? roles. Uh, yeah, a coach of, of a no, national No, he was team. then. He was then. Oh, then. And he came back because okay. he had success and then he came back yeah, of to course. Us, You know. Look, play. Yeah. I always say national team coach is great, but you want to yeah. play all the time. That's it, yeah. <laughs> so that's why you would want end up at a club. You want to end yes. up at a club, yeah. And um, yeah, I trained there. Training was, oh, people could run there. Oh, my God. <laughs> If I think I could run, no, 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 they can run in England. Yeah. Uh, they can also drink beers. I thought I could drink. <laughs> you know, a couple of times we went to the pub and, uh, you know, they get these drops, you know, give, give us a pint. They call it a Ooh, pint. Get us a pint. pint. <laughs> and um, cut the long story uh, short, you know, to, to where I was. Mm. And, um, you know, because when I tell the story, people are very interesting. And um, when I came now to the after training, we come, you know, taking a shower. And one of the guys came and said, the cafe wants to see you. Hmm. Now my eyes is up. I said, the, the what? what? Yeah, and I'm, hey, did I hear right what this guy said? <laughs> now, I'm like, sorry, who? Uh. Just to make sure, because I heard it, I thought he mentioned the, the words. Yes. Now the gaffer. I said, oh, the gaffer. Uh. Yeah, I said, I said, now I don't want to make like I don't know who the gaffer is also. <laughs> <laughs> because for us as a coach. Of course. You know, and then I was also looking, okay, what does he mean by that? What do mm. I know? So I, so I went, I said, can you tell me where's the, the coach's office? Because yeah. I didn't want to say, maybe it comes out of my way. <laughs> How do you do it? And I went and he said, listen, I'm happy for what I've seen. Yeah. I like what I've seen. How long were you there for? How many days? One day. Because remember, One day. You, had a funeral, I was at, you had a funeral in South yeah, Africa. So. That you're going to take me two days coming back. That's that was I mean. a Tuesday, Wednesday. By Friday, I should land for yeah. Sunday's game. Oh. That's if I'm lucky, it was Saturday. Yes. So now... Um, there's now the, he says to me, I'm happy what I've seen mm. because we did the running in the morning. You could see, and we had a game. And he said he liked me. Yeah. So I used to play on the wing. Okay. I played. Uh, there was a guy which, called which Tony, wing? Seven right, eleven. Right. Uh, there was a right wing and a left, left wing. wing. Yeah. We call it right and left wing, and then the striker. Okay. So the striker was Steve Boo. Mm. He's a legend. Yes. He was the first second division, first division player, second division player that played. Uh, for the national team. While he was still in, was the, in the second division. While he was playing for Wolves. Amazing. And amazing. Yeah. And um, I was with a guy called Tony Daly. Yeah. Tony Daly was a small, uh, small uh, blackest guy. Mm. But pace was, oh. So it was him on the one side, I'm on the other side. A crazy pace. Yes. And um, yeah, it, it was good. Um, I went. Unfortunately, the doctor couldn't um, pass my exam. Oh, no. What yeah. was wrong? Do you remember? Yeah. Um, there's only one player that went to England and passed his exam with two operations on his knee. Jeez. So on both knees, you can have uh, one operation on both knees, but you have an operation on both knees, the doctor won't pass that. Yeah. And I went back to, to the, the coach. I said, coach, uh, the doctor, he said, what's the problem? I said, look, I've got a... Mm. The guy that made uh, that made history was named called uh, uh, Ruth, 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 from Holland, Ruth Gullet. Ruth Gullet. Ruth Ruth Gullet. Gullet. He's the yes. only one who had two operations on yeah. the left and on the right. What? I'm the second one. Jeez. You won't pass it. I, anybody can tell me now that when they, you won't get it. Mm. Yeah, because of the medical cup and all that. Yeah. So oh, I yes, went there. Course. Yeah, and I went it's there. It's quite expensive to have yes. you. <laughs> and the coach says to me, go get the stuff. And I went to go get it. And we signed a contract. So, so now, now, when you go back to Belgium, what do you tell these guys? I said to them, I, I came there and it wasn't a funeral. It was the wrong person for the wrong person. <laughs> and I got onto the next flight the night. Yeah, I came back. Straight face. I'm, I'm what back. I did, what I did, at Cosmos, straight face. <laughs> yes. How, as a youngster growing up, how to, you know, get certain <laughs> things. And uh, they yeah. said, we're happy. That's they were happy. But they were happy. Not telling me that the office already on the table oh, for me to go. Oh, so so by the time you arrived, the offer was already the guys from uh, England. from England had already sent an offer that offer. we like this guy, yeah. and they were getting money of, yeah, of course. They of were course. selling you. Yeah, they they were like, um, yeah, we happy. Fat off. But unfortunately, <laughs> we also happy because another team. I'm like, what team? I keep myself a bit dumb. I said, no, you're gonna have to go to Wimbledon, and I went. 
So the guy that helped me, I mean, took his contacts. And before I left, because they had a small celebration there for me. Yes. And I said, okay, now you got a season ticket. Uh. I'm paying your season ticket. You coming to set every game. To watch. To come and watch. And I'll pay your accommod uh, accommodation and transport. For which which uh, which league is this? For playing for Wolves, for Wolverhampton. Yes, because yes. that he brought me there. Uh, so because he remember he was in Belgium. Of course. So every game I used to be I bought him a season ticket. So when I used to score, I used to run to him and say, Hey, because <laughs> of you. Wow. And that's it. And then ninety six came. That's special. So so you were now in England playing in the second division, yeah. not the first division. Not the first, yeah. And you were a star player already. Yeah. How long were you were you there for for the Wolves? Um, so it came ninety five and ninety six mm. for the Fcon Cup. Because it was a special time for you uh, with the Wolves. There's there's a the goal that's celebrated in your in your story. There's a goal that's celebrated where you saved them yeah. from what is it relegation? Uh, or what was it? Right. So so what happened is that we played FA Cup. Mm -hmm. Remember that time FA Cup. So it was a second division teams playing, and we we're playing against Aston Villa. Okay. Right. And um, I came, and, and that's the goal that they talked about. Yeah. But then there was also one when I scored against Liverpool. Mm. So some of their first division players, like Cantona, yes. Kicks, they were in the first division. Okay. So if they won't play the weekend, they will play the Monday, the ah. league. and that's where our first team, our reserves, will play against them. Okay. So you get this experience playing with, uh, with, top, with players, top guys. Yes. Top players. I mean, so you Kentana, played against Cantona. So, yeah, Cantona, yeah. I mean, Sidan, but Sidan I played against in France. He that's was still playing crazy. for Bordeaux, but then I was playing for the first division team. Yes. And um, yeah, 96 came. Before that, were you called up to play for Bafana before you even went to, to, to England? Yeah, 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 yeah. So there were collabs while well, you were in yeah, Belgium. Yeah, yes. yeah, well, yeah, while I was in Belgium. But I, I told the coach that, look, I would need a bit of time before you call me. And Clive Barker was very good in that. He said, look, I will not call you for easy games. Yes. I'll only call you for qualifiers. Uh -huh, and it games. makes it interesting. That's true. Because then you can see the true potential. So when the final players came, it was me, it was, uh, I mean, I'm it just was saying, Lucas. Lucas, it, it was, was Mark Fish. It was Phil Masinga. It was Phil Masinga. It was. No, that experience just overblown. And sometimes I would come and play one or two games and go back and yes. give the other guys, that local guys, to That's play. True. Because I didn't have to prove. But a week before the FCON Cup, yeah. I was making my mind up and the coach came and put that thing, two million pounds in a three-year contract not to go to the FCON Cup. You were playing for Wolves at this time. Yeah. You were second division player in England and they said, come and play for... Because it takes, it takes you out of your league for a while, isn't it? So what happened is that because of your national team, it's very important. I mean, um, 95, I was in Brussels. Mm. So we did pre-season training in, um, in Stuttgart. Okay. So I was watching the Rugby World Cup, but I wasn't watching it. I was running past the hotel up in the mountains we were staying. And while I was running there, I saw, hey, but a team is playing. That's, uh, that's, 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 that's the box. yes. So while I'm telling this coach, hey, Please, man, second off, can I, he's telling me yeah, he doesn't know about rugby, he's not interested. <laughs> but oh, you wanted I, to watch the I game? I wanted to watch second off, yes. he says no. So we up there, down there, do this, this, as, and I'm looking at the time, I see there's about uh, 10 minutes or 20 minutes left. I said, you know what, it's rather me or you. So I mm. said, coach, I'm going to ask you one more time. He said, fine, if I can watch the last 20 minutes. He yes. said, yeah, if you can do a lap in 10 minutes. Yes. So the lap is 15 minutes. It's up, it's down. Mm. I must have done eight, lap, eight minutes. I was <laughs> sitting there at the bar watching the game. So I watched that last 10 minutes. Yes. And then an extra time when Joel Sarosky ah, scored that drop. That, so you, you saw I, the game. And I yes. cried there. I ordered, I didn't even know. I ordered champagne. I was drinking champagne. <laughs> Players came. I was crying, wow. celebrating on my own. So that was a moment. So when Wolves offered me this two million pounds and three-year contract, mm. it took me back to that mm -hmm. and say, you remember what happened in 95? Yeah. You wanted to be part of that. Maybe, just maybe, we'll go to my, what if you can be part of this team yeah. that can do it 96? Jeez. And yeah, I was fortunate to be a part of it. And Crazy. It happen. And, and the, the call-up, to uh, to play for Bafana in that year to go to this big tournament, what did it mean to this this young boy who was once a gang a gang leader or a gang member? Um, I think that now that I've learned a, a lot mm -hmm. um, about life, you know, I know what I wanted, I know what I want to achieve, and um, for me it was that when my diva used to come every mornings, mm -hmm. and specifically this one morning. 
in the finals, before the finals. Because he'll always go to the captain first, Neil Toby. Yeah. But I went out that night before Ooh, the game. Yeah. I, I always do it. Now everybody knows. I sleep alone in a room. Uh -huh. Some players like two, and now I yeah, sleep yeah, alone. They, they. So Clive used to respect that. But we know when we go out, there's no forget about. I war like I hear some of these players that came after us. Mm. They go out and then they forgot to come back. Nobody knows where they are. They don't know where. Yes. But I, as I go into the first pub, I met the 95 rugby team. What? Amazing. So they were there. What they were, were they there doing in that there? first pub in Rosebank. They said tomorrow they're doing parade with a flag walking around the field. Whoa. And tell all the players, I said, wait guys, while you're talking, I said, can I have a Heineken there? <laughs> and they looked at me and they're like, you're playing tomorrow. Play? I said, guys, it's tomorrow. Relax. <laughs> they have the first one. The owner of the pub, uh, son, well, uh, I know his mother, Natasha. Uh, uh. So Natasha was one of the chief uh, uh, executives or at Sundowns with the Crocs. Okay, so the, and the class, yes, that yeah. lady. Yes. So see, he phones his father, his yeah. mother. Yeah. So when I said, can I have another Heineken? But while I'm having a Heineken, mm. I'm visualizing the game. Yeah. Which nobody understands. Mm. I knew what I was doing. Yeah. And now I'm like, tomorrow, I know what to do. Mm. I'm going to do this, but I'm chilling. You know? <laughs> and uh, his mother said, close the pie. Yeah. And he says, last round. Now the rugby guys all look at me. they big oaks, man. They said, you see now, Williams. <laughs> because of you, I said. <laughs> they don't want you to drink said, anymore. Yeah, they don't That's want me. Because I only had to yeah, two beers. <laughs> I said, guys, it's not like I'm dancing. I'm just, you know. Natasha yeah, says, we don't want yeah. him to drink. You must go. <laughs> so there's a <laughs> guy called Os, 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 Os Loran. Mm -hmm. big, big oak number one. Mm -hmm. Bold day. Um, and him and uh, what's this other one? There's another, another guy. Uh, Paul there also, but mm. there's this big, and I stand there next to me, and I'm looking up to them. Um, <laughs> and they pick me up, mm. and they put me on the bar, and I jump on the other side. I said, last round, now. <laughs> the bar's open. Jeez, and um, I had one more beer, and I took the hands, and I went to the hotel. And that's when my debut came the next morning. Yes. When I was late, I said, if I get into the lift, I'm going to be with the prison. Uh. But if I take the stairs quick, I'll be just there, and I just made it, because yeah. you just kneeled over and then all that things come up as yeah. a kid growing up. Hmm. Yes, the president. And the president said, good morning, Mark. Hey, whoa, your president knows my name? No, I'm like, <laughs> wow. president knows my name. Yeah. This is amazing. Jeez. You know, so those things that I went to go run, where people sound crazy. Uh, you know, when I, when I said I'll be the first professional player at the Linux, these guys were laughing at me. Mm. And all those things just come up. And um, it took me at one stage after my ex-family, they were praying so much mm. that I was in the meeting and I wasn't there. I was and I wasn't there. Yeah. I was in another place. Even if people, you were there, uh, yeah. but your mind was somewhere else. It was somewhere else. It, it, but it just took it, it, took it away. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, um, I, I couldn't take it in. And that is sometimes when you receive it and it comes so much from a, a, a good place. Yeah. You know, I, I, a lot of times I hear in church where people say, the spirit just took over, the spirit took over. Yeah. You know, I wasn't a person that went into church, went out to church, but I was a great believer. I thought that if I go there, it just gives you an, a, another fresh mm, ideas mm, of mm, where mm. I come from and Jeez. just say thank you for I'm still alive. Incredible. And um, yeah, um, I used to go with uh, Mrs. Kaiser Mutahun, we used to go to the same church when I played for Chiefs also. Mm, mm. But that was only 97. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, while I'm sitting there in 96, I'm like, take me back at Athlon Stadium. When these guys were saying I was a traitor. Mm. They all sure. were now watching me. There were Some of them were referees now. Jeez. Some of them were officials, but they told me I was a traitor. Yes. So all that thing just it came out and it, it went away. Are you with me? Releasing it. Because That's there was incredible. things that I couldn't release. Yeah. Um, but I knew there was something that I need to do that day. Jeez. And um, or when I went on Andre Orange, mm. because I sat in the corner, he said, and he said, Mark, you're not playing. I said, what do you mean I'm not playing? I was a top goal scorer. Yes. In the finals. Yes. Any, any coach you ask, he's not going to leave you a top goal scorer. Of course. So um, for me, is that uh, I was a top goal scorer in the tournament. In the tournament. You know, it, I'm not talking <laughs> about Bafana. Benny McCarthy is the top goal scorer of Bafana. Yeah. You know, uh, he's, he got 60, he played 60 games, you know, and uh, compare, no, I can't compare because I never had so much games. Yes, yes. But I was there from the beginning. But it's like I said, if I don't get along with a coach, I'll tell you. <laughs> and I think that is sometimes the way I got it wrong. But look. So in this tournament in particular, uh, 1996, 
you get filled it all the way to the finals. The team is doing well. You're performing well. Let me let me let me say this. I don't know how we can replicate that and do it again as a nation. I'll tell you where we start in my in my observation. At no point have we ever had a team, a Bafana team that had so many international players. That's the first thing yeah. you observe almost immediately. Yes. As you've mentioned their names so many times, uh, your your June shoes, John Shoes Mushre, your your be, your not Bennett. Doctor, who, yeah, doctor played. Doctor, doctor played, played also, in the yeah, US. Can, yes. Yeah, I mean there was a guy called um, but what's his name? Uh, played for Pirates. So Tebo Tebo Homoloi. Tebo Homoloi. That, that yes. midfield it was so. It was so, there was a lot of lot of talent. Absolutely. It was so difficult to yes. pick. I mean, you had a guy like Zayn Musa. Yeah. At Sundance, you know him, oh, Mr. Magic. Oh, I know Magic. him well, of course. It, 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 the coaches had his team. Yeah. You know, I wasn't, because remember, my story is Phil was the number one striker, the only mm. played one striker. But he thought he must make a two. Yes. And that's yes. how I that's got That's what because happened. Chomo told him that, I'll take you a little bit back. Yeah. Look how Williams and Phil played at Cosmos. Yes. So if you're really looking for the two best strikers ever. Here they are. Yeah. And, and and people say, yeah, what do you think? I think that if we went to that World Cup, we would have done history. Yeah, that you know, was the time to go to World Cup. That was the right time, but unfortunately, the team was changed. Wow. Now, now the last game, the game that won the tournament, you didn't start the game. You were not filled it in as the first 11. What was the dynamics there? Is it the very story you were telling? That you said, you're not playing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, he didn't say I'm not playing. Mm. I was in the meeting when he selected the team. I, of I was because we have a pre a pre match meal, mm. and then you he'll, in the pre match meal we'll have breakfast pre match, and then you pick the team there. And I was there. Mm. I heard I was fine with everything. And um, in the bus, I start everything first. Nobody starts nothing. So you were there in the first eleven? No, not in the first. Okay, 11. okay, but in the reserves. In my head. In my head, remember the spirit took <laughs> in my head. I was there. Over. Yes. <laughs> so in the bus, when we go, we start singing and this. But nobody sings, and I'm the first one. If I don't sing, they know something is wrong. Mm. I will still start with my song, <laughs> and then they'll start saying this, and then that one say, "Ah, no!" And now we're going on. Yeah. And I was fine. I was singing because in my head is that I'm playing full yes. injury the semifinals. Oh, okay. So finals, they made him ready. He was ready. So he's the number one. He must play. Mm -hmm. Sean Bartlett scored one of the greatest goals Bafana ever scored. Of course, saw. yes. And he's a youngster. Uh, okay. Now, do you take the youngster, play a top goal scorer? Will the youngster come back again? Is William strong enough to come back and do what he's supposed to? Yeah. Or do we take a number one striker? So they had all that yeah. for the technical stuff. That's what I heard from them. Mm -hmm. But in my head, I thought it's a team sport. I need to know that when they put me on, I'll do something. Is it true that you started warming up before you even selected? Is that story true? Um, it is true, like you say it. But um, what, how it happened is that I needed to, at that time, the, st the, the stand were like this and down there. Okay. So I was right in the middle. Mm. Not a nice person to sit if you want to come on. <laughs> <laughs> And then I thought second half, I looked at this board. The score is score zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, yes. So I said, if I can sit on the corner and then maybe put out my leg and just show my head like I'm stretching, maybe somebody will see me in the crowd. And then if that somebody see me, he will say they'll, something. They'll, they'll and then it goes. Screaming. So you did now, that. How do I get to that? So I told him, hey, my leg is pulling stiff. I don't know what it was. And apparently he's, wow. he moved. He I said, went, let's, let's go yeah, stretch let me, it. Let me, let, no, no, let me swap. Sit uh, on the corner. Okay. So now I'm on the corner. But I have to look at the coach. I can't just do this. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm looking there, but I'm looking. With the, you know the yes, mirrors, they call it exactly, mirrors. Yes. And I see he's looking that side, the corner side. While he's looking that side, I'm just putting my head out now. And I'm doing this as I did that. Yeah. Someone from behind, wheelie, wheelie, free wheelie, Whoa, wheelie, oh. 5,000, 10,000 wheelie. That was wheelie, wheelie. screaming. So now I also realized, I was wondering who's wheelie, but it was obviously for Williams. <laughs> so when I realized, I put my leg in, I'm looking at the coach and I'm like, you know, oh. like I didn't do it. And um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, that was the first time. Wow, so the story is true. And then the second time, <laughs> yeah, Phil got injured again. They got So when he said to me, at the time he says, Mark, warm up. I was already warming up. Already? I was, yeah. I said, I said to myself, there's one or two things. I would, if he asked me why I'm warming up, mm. I was going to say that. See, this is things that I've learned when I was young. How to maneuver things, how to do things. If he asked me, who told you to warm up? And you can't do that anymore. You have to wait for the coach. I was going to say, 
I thought I heard the coach. <laughs> but then I was warming up. By the time he said yes, I was here. Yes. Two minutes I scored the first. Two minutes later I scored the second. It was history. Still, I didn't know that we won it. People were crying. Oh, so you were not crying. aware that... I wasn't aware. I, wasn't, I don't even know if it was real. Remember, because the emotion of that, so many people... Um, I saw the... When I scored the second goal, I saw my diva standing like this. Mm. And I could see... And when I say that, I'm talking about maybe... 50 meter mm, I, he's right I, here the, the, the word that he said in the morning it's almost like I'm, I'm getting that blink yeah. as close to him and I see a, a tears of joy wow. coming out of his eyes yeah. and he put this that's that's the one thing that I remember looking up to my diva. Yeah. and then I'm like no it is I did score You've, two goals yeah. we, we, during that time we used to speak of Madiba magic yeah. as a you know, a mythical energy that we would get around us, our, our teams. The Borke had the same. Uh, and you guys now had this. And we had this thing going of Madiba Magic. What do you say to the concept of Madiba Magic? He no. came to see you guys in the morning. As you say it now, when you scored the second goal, yeah. that you saw his face, saw his in, face front coming, you, in front of you. In front of me, coming closer, closer. Yes. And um, I, I don't, you see, there, there was, it was a president that loved sport. Yeah. That gave us that hope that sport can bring the nation together. That's true. And gave us that doesn't matter where you come from. You know, we are rainbow, that rainbow nation thing. So as a player, when you meet him, you felt that warmness. Mm. And don't think that he won't know your name. Of course he will. He knows everybody's name. And that's how I remember having, a, you know, I'm not saying a, president, a good president yes. of this country. Yeah. Because he gave me it was part of him that made that choice to take the 100, 100 million or to stay there. Yes. But seeing what happened 95 yeah. and um, standing there in, in, remember I was doing priests and training mm. and crying and drinking champagne and things like that. Yeah. And when he gave that cup over and that is that, that thought that I had that here I am really now celebrating yeah. that moment. And there wasn't a person um, clubs all over the world wanted Mark Williams. Yeah, I was the Ronaldo or the Messi then that people didn't know. So, I had options where I wanted to play. So after you know? that, your life changed. Yeah, life changed. I thought it was for the good. But um, obviously, um, Wolves then had to go get another striker. Of course. Because you, you were playing for Wolves. Playing for, yeah. yes. So when I came there, the coach said, no, you're going to have to start over again. Okay. Because I, when you went to go play for one month we, away, we had to go buy another striker. Let's go back to that moment when you had to ask them to go. They didn't say yes immediately. Wait, a wolf. No, I when didn't tell them. He didn't. He didn't say. He said, "Yeah, is it? If you go, I'll understand. If you don't go, that's fine." Yes. They, they didn't know. They knew that if I'm not there, they need to get another striker. Of course, because you're that away means for so long. I was so going to up that to that yeah. under that uh, two million pounds and three contract. Char. Um. I did a bit of pub crawling in London, mm. but I went to one pub. I took the piece of paper and I looked at it. I go, wow, what do I do? Went to another pub, had a beer there, <laughs> look at it again. I look a couple of times. So it wasn't an easy decision? No, it wasn't. I mean, it was never. I mean, 100 million then was in the in, uh, in, uh, 96 it's was. It's even I mean, now. my bonus, well, my bonus now. was 100,000 for winning it. Not even 100,000. 100,000 100, pounds. Yeah, rands. Yeah. Rands, yes. Rands. 100,000 for Bafana. We got, some got 90,000 rand. And there you were getting more. I was getting two. two I'm mean, like I said, 100 million. It was 100 million. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So, and so you had to decide to come and basically take, terms. Take, take 30 days off to come and play for, depending on where, whether you perform well or not, of course. So, being there, when I came back to Wolves after the FCON Cup, it was celebrations. And I said to the coach, hey, we're going to do a parade. And when he said to me, no, it's fine. You can do it. I knew something is not nice. Yeah. Because he then, wasn't in a rush to bring you back. Yeah, because he had to give this other guy now that uh, for the month, because he bought another striker. Yes. To replace me with another winger in whatever yeah. way. So when I came back there, they, 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 they stopped the game. They called me up first. They gave me this crystal bowl at, the, said, at, at, Mol at Molyneux, yes. at Wolves. Yeah. Yes. Molyneux, everybody stood up, clapped hands, a team, two teams received me. Jeez. And um, yeah, that was a great moment. Of course. And um, yeah, but uh, for me, uh, I think I was, for me, he brought me on every now and then five minutes. They changed the coach then. Okay. There was a guy called Mark McGee from Scotland. Uh. And he said to me, look, I believe you. I said, look, if you want to play me, you're going to play me as a striker. He said, look, I would love to, but unfortunately, I'm making Steve Paul. The main guy. The main guy, the captain. Yes. And I said, no, thank you. Uh, me, I'm not going to stay here. 
Can we just sort out my contract, please? I'm not going to sit on the bench because I'm better. I'm better than what you got here. Yeah. He says, no, I respect that. Mm. Came the next day, I put everything in black and white. They said, we'll put it in. Is there anything you want? Because I was thinking double story in the, you yeah. know, everything. Living costs. well. Yeah. yeah, I said, no, no. Leave that stuff here. Just I'll tell what stuff we can bring and that's it. Yeah. And I took most of the stuff, the money they gave me, like professionals, it was in the account, signed the contract. And I said, oh, yes, I want a free clearance. Yeah. I want to own my own life. That's it. Wow. Of course I knew. And that's that's where the blessings comes in there. <laughs> Came here down. On my way to come and play for uh, for a team in Cape, uh, South Africa, mm -hmm. I made a U-turn quick to go to Brazil. Yes, because I know your story has a Brazilian team. That's crazy. There was a guy called Pichu Noguero. Pichu Noguero. Uh. He played for Pirates. He was a Pirate striker. Yeah. I'll take you back. He was also a good striker. Uh. So he was from Sao Paulo and he was supporting Corinthians. Okay. So Corinthians is a big team. And um, I'll never forget, I think my second game, I played at Maracanã Stadium. 150, sure. 153,000 people. I've been to Maracanã Stadium. It's like Stadium. you're walking on a treadmill. Yes. In Rio de Janeiro. And, and um, <laughs> I, I tried to change my jersey with um, Romario mm, and geez. he pushed me away. <laughs> we, go, we, go, you, we used to get four jerseys a uh. game. One, you share. You change. Okay, you change. One you throw in the crowd. Ah. Second one you can change with another player. Wow. I used to play with a player called uh, Salvino. Uh. He was a left of Brazil. He played for Arsenal. He played for Barcelona. I played with him at Corinthians. So there was Corinthians was a big team. Yeah. I mean, I signed a one year, uh, a one year and six months contract. Okay. So when the six months is finished, some of the directors didn't get the money out of the deal. There was a, it's ah, a squ yeah, you know, a bit these of deals, a squabble. squabble. Yes. So he said, Mr. Williams, we'll give you your money, but you're going to have to leave because these guys are only going to get their money if they sign a new player. Oh, no. And um, I said, no, I'm fine. I'm happy with that. You left? I took my money and I left. Did you enjoy your time in Brazil? I enjoyed each moment. I made a lot of friends there. It's a lot of celebration. If mm -hmm. you don't have a head, <laughs> that life you can you know, it's, it's part, it's, no it's party 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 yes. you, you train you won't even think that training is training yeah. it's, they don't train hard they train with a the ball they'll run but they'll do it proper and then one day's off <laughs> that one becomes like two days off it's like a party wherever you go people are sitting there kind of one comes the with drink? the drums what's the drinks of vases of vases uh, yeah well they got the they got the beer but then they got uh, the, uh, a par, 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 yes. uh, par, paringo paringo and uh, of course and <laughs> it's all coconut with vodka and, oh, and, and gin and yeah, yeah. And, and, and the killer but uh, you know, you must hold your head because you go to the clubs. Oh, my goodness. You'll be in trouble. No, I, I spent two weeks in Brazil. It's a fascinating it's, it's place. Probably. And I, we were in Copacabana. <laughs> ah, in a beautiful place. That's lovely. why I have pictures in in, in that stadium, Maracanã Stadium. Wow, it's an yeah, incredible Maracana's place. Yes. Yeah, but, um, you know, it was nice. But, um, look, I still have a lot of friends. And we still talk. Mm, even on, now. On the phone now and then. Wow. But, um, yeah, it was amazing. But, look, I had to go and I said, look, um, this is not really where I want to be. Because mm. remember, I went uh, overseas at the age of 26. We were a little bit older. Yes. And uh, when I came back, I said, there's only two teams I want to play for now. Because mm. I know what Sundowns. Yes. So it's Pirates or Amakosi. Not even Sundowns. No, no, no. At the time, sundowns, it, you've yeah, done that done already. That, yeah. Been so there. For yes. me, it was, I'm, gonna, I'm free. Mm. So if I play for one of these teams, I'm going to score goals, I'm going to get an offer and I'll move. True. So um, eventually, I then looked at uh, Mr. Kaiser Mutau. Mm. I looked at um, Mr. Ivan Koza. Mm. By that time, it was like Mr. Ivan Koza never smiled, man. <laughs> he was a bit scary. He, he took me back at the, you know, <laughs> as one of my street, you know, where, where I come from, yeah. you know, the Chochi, you understand? Mm, like I, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, okay, let me try. And uh, I get along with Mr. Kaiser Mutau. Yeah. And that's the reason why I signed. But I signed a month-to-month -month contract. What? I said, look, um, I've got bigger dreams. I've got. I'm not finished yet. There's something like that, month to month in soccer. If, if you're a if you're a good, if you're a big player, yeah, you can give you what you want. You can yeah. get week to week contracts. You can negotiate your terms. You can negotiate because I was a free agent. Yeah. I said you people don't have to buy sell me from another club, because that time FIFA brought in a rule. Before that, transfer fee could go from the club to the player. Okay. So a lot of people make companies open. That's where the tax invasion comes in. Of course. You messy them and you can all see of these guys. all yeah. these guys. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be a little bit smarter. I'm going to say, if I'm going to sign, mm. and the reason why I played for Chiefs is yeah. that I was playing now for Chiefs for six months. Mm. 
I was already the top goal scorer there. But I had crazy. I, I was playing with Sex Gongwani, Tabang yes. Lebise, Tabo Muki, That's a Brian Malloy. But these guys also didn't pass me the ball. <laughs> you had the same problem. I used to run, they passed the ball behind my head. With the back. <laughs> and I went to a guy called Gron Nichols. He was a sponsor of Total. Uh. I said to him, Gron, I've got a problem here. He said, what is it? I said, I can guarantee I'll bring those three players once a month. Mm. We're going to come to your Total garages. We'll watch the cars there, take photos, yeah, sign autographs. Yeah, yeah. But I need 10 grand. Then I will let them pass me the ball. Yeah. But I will search for that in one's appearance there. <laughs> I got the 10 grand. I went to Six and I said, Six. May soul rest in peace. I said, Six, why do you pass the ball there? Mm. Now, what I did one time, I wasn't supposed to do. When you train, after training, you get a pay slip. Okay. And, really? Yeah, okay. you get your pay slip. It's yeah. not like you get your slip. Mm. But I wanted to teach these guys to say what they were getting, it wasn't worth it. Mm. They need to make sure they get a lot of money. Yeah. Because they won 3,500. Really? Month. Was it that time? I was on 35,000 a game. Wow. So, as I took my slip out, we're playing Pirates a Sunday. Uh. This is the Friday. So I throw it on the floor, but I make like nobody sees, and mm. I run to the sour quick. Like, mm. I'm in the sour, and I'm sorry, but I'm looking who's going to pick it up. And it's it, <laughs> speaking the last. Oh, Mark Williams, pay, pay slip. But they're scared to pick it up. Yes. You know, because uh, they don't know what you're going to find. <laughs> Whether good or bad. <laughs> no, six is that type of person. Yeah. Picks it up. <sighs> Makes some noise. Yeah, I see. I'm, they're discussing. <laughs> oh, no, no, no wonder. That's why I must pass the ball here. Pass the ball here. So he doesn't go. What is that? That's crazy. Hey, we're driving home. Mm. I've given him a lift. I said, you in my, you're going with me. I'm taking you to Alex. Mm. On my way now, I'm driving. Hey, it's quiet. I said, Siggy. Now, that time, we had a lovely coast goal. Paul Dollars. I remember Paul Yeah, that was my man. Yeah. <laughs> he used to always ask me, who do you want to play with? Yeah. So I was a striker. They say, I want to play with Mark Batchelor, Maisel, or somebody yes. else. Just certain games. But sometimes he picked the team. Mm. I remember he said to me, what do you think about Nilto? He's too old. I said, no, no, he's not old. You need him. Makoko. But you need that experience <laughs> you're not going to get. Yes. And he kept him. So um, I said to 6-6, six, six, we've been driving since there. And now, you know, what She's is wrong? Still. <laughs> yeah, he's still. Yeah, he's a problem, man. He's yeah, a problem, my bro. I say, yeah, I got a problem. He said, yeah, that's it, yeah. It's What's about the... tomorrow's game. No, I, I said, it's about tomorrow's game. He said, no, no, no. No, no, don't come and tell me about tomorrow's game. I saw something there. Uh, I said, where there? Where? Where? Tell me. Are yeah, we no. driving? I'm laughing. I'm keeping it. He says, are you really getting that money? Yes. I said, uh, did you scratch my... I said, no, it was on the floor, man. <laughs> but then I opened it. I said, but you were not supposed to. But yes. I wanted him to open it. <laughs> of course. So I can tell the other players. I said, okay, listen here. Now that you know what I'm getting, I'm going to give you 2,000 rand. But you must pass the ball in front of me, man. No more at the back. <laughs> he says, ah, I can do it now. Now I can do it I now. Pass you the ball. <laughs> I said, okay. That's good. I've already wow. got it. I said, no, no. Speak phone to Bangla BC and, and Tabo Tell the guys. Hey, he's on the phone. Hey, the bank, I got uh, 2,000, uh, one total, and I like to ask. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm laughing. Hi. Yeah. I can't believe 10 minutes, play Pirates FMB. 10 minutes, Williams, two goals. <laughs> <laughs> In 10 minutes, I never scored two goals like it so quick. True. Jeez. I've scored goals that went like crazy. The Rotman's Cup final. Yeah. So it was like the net being there. Oh, of course. Big t I remember it well. So we, I, there was two games left. Mm. So Bafana 96, this is now 97. Yes. A year later, yeah. when we African champions, world champions, they never called me again. What, Bafana? Bafana. Wow. After scoring that two goals, I never played for Bafana again. No way. I'm telling you. Were those two goals the, your last the, Bafana that game? Was, that was the last game. So I asked myself, what did I do? So if people ask me, what was your happiest moment? I wish I can really be honest and say it was a two goals. But I scored the two goals. I was never called And up. you lost the job. Do you uh, know why? Did you ever find out why? Well, the documentary, I'm hoping that I can, I'm busy with that. Yes. I'm hoping that um, Philip Trusia, the story, what he will tell you is that he wanted to take me to the World Cup mm, and mm. he was threatened. He can take me with, but if he plays me, they'll do something to his family. Sure. That's on God. On I'm sitting That's here crazy. and I want him to say it because he said it. The year after 98, he was the, the Asian coach, the uh, Asian coach of the year. Mm. And they asked him what happened. And I was in China 
and I was crying actually. Mm. He brought him up to the wards at about half past 12, one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And he said, one thing in South Africa is there was one player that I wanted to take with. Mm. In his speech, I'm talking about a year later, he said it was Mark Williams. That's crazy. And I didn't understand why. Otherwise, I would probably still, I would love to know why. Wow. So if you ask me, was that the greatest moment? I would love to hear that from the officials of South Africa. Yeah, what now, when happened? When people come and they say, what is wrong with Bafana? Why is Bafana not working? Then you really have to ask yourself, there's a lot of players that didn't have that success mm. after they won. I'm not saying celebrate it, but it was the only thing that uh, that ever did happen in, in football mm. in this country. I don't know what happened before. There was never AFCON Cup before. Of course. There was never yes. World Cup. That 92 team, we were because we were back in, yeah, in international, international sport. Yeah. So if that was it, you need to celebrate. Exactly. If it was any other country, they would have called the streets up to players' name. I mean, I only saw now recently they're going to call that stadium in uh, where Phil, Phil Masinga is from. Yes, Phil yes. Masinga. I'm happy for that. Yeah. I'm not saying just in soccer, but in any sport that where there was an icon mm. where people can look up to. I mean, you got Ortambo. Come on, please. There must be other guys. Other that did people. Some other yes. people. I didn't realize that was uh, your last Bafana game. The game you won that, and won. That I scored the two <laughs> goals. I don't want to say that I scored two goals. Yes, we were a team. Yes, it was nice. No, of course, you scored the two goals. I scored the two it goals. I had real. to get up. And and and, 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 and make, because I could have said, and yeah. this is where the, t the tough part comes in. I could have said huh. and not take responsible. Yeah. Because I knew that I had to do something that day. And if I didn't act on my instincts, it could have gone past. Who, yeah, have known. who knows? But because I reacted on my instincts, say, I assume I heard the call, coach mm. call me. <laughs> and if he said what? Because you got ninety thousand people shouting, and one person who are you gonna hear? Ninety thousand. Thank you very of much. Of course. So that was my experience, and that I had yes. of playing international. Also, so if he comes and says, "Oh, sorry, coach," but he I couldn't. Didn't, I didn't hear you. I thought but, you called my name. But by the time he said, he said, "You know what you have to do? I'm going to put you up front. I'm taking full off." Let's go back to this moment of you playing. That being the last game they ever played. Other players played. Other play. All of them played. Phil played. They played the games. They played. Mark Fish played. All of them. They made. Their Tovey played. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Lucas became the captain and Toby was the only one. But Toby was also then in retirement. Because course, remember, yes. Toby, I think he's the only one that's got maybe five or six years. Mm, I mean, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, he's now 60. So he would have been that time in uh, about 40 years. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I guess so, we don't know our history that well. We didn't even know that was your last game. That the was way, my, the that, game that, that was my last it's game. It's probably one of the most celebrated South African soccer moment if in our history. I, if I go and speak to Afrikaners, white people, they'll tell me where they were on that day. Some of them <laughs> said, I bought a new car. I drove in the war. I said, I, I was, I, and, I, and we celebrate. The one guy said, you, you, you owe me. I said, what? But I didn't. I said, yeah. we celebrated. The one guy said, he was sitting, white guy, a white guy was sitting there. As the Dachapal was going, he was also Mapuri. <laughs> and he, he said, and they were drinking. And, the, and he said, that, you, that was a rainbow nation. Yeah. It was everybody was there together. It's like Chavalala's uh, first goal in the World Cup. In the World Cup. Yes, you we, know, we all remember that moment. We'll never, we'll never forget it. And then we played now in the Confederation Cup. Yes. And you're not called up. Oh, I was lucky I was called up. Okay. Because I remember now, now I'm playing for Chiefs, I'm scoring goals. Oh, yeah. I'm local now. Oh, that's years later. That's a year, that's, yeah, two years later. Two years later. But now I'm scoring goals. <laughs> You're like Zwan in Sundown. So, so he had to call cold. me. Yes. So when he called me now, um, the Clive, Clive Barker called me, and um, we in the Rotman semi-final of the cup. We're playing the drawers. We're playing, I think, Bits. Okay. And then Sundowns were playing Pirates or what, and we were playing Bits, and we gotcha. know we're going to get one of those team Pirates or Sundowns. Yes. And um, the league... The league, there was about another five games because that was November. Then the December was the league was finished. Yeah. And I remember um, coming there now, uh, you know, people <laughs> that I meet the other guys. Hey, Williams, how's that man? The last time I saw was scoring two goals. Yeah. <laughs> so we play our first game, Brazil. We lose uh, 3 now. Yes, I remember we that. We play the tournament. second game. Yes. Um, we play the second game. The third game we played Czech Republic. Yes. The last, the last in the group stages. So as I'm coming from the hotel, yeah, I see Romario coming. Jeez. And Ronaldo. 
Yo. The one with the real Ronaldo. Yes, the, the big Ronaldo, yeah, the that. old Ronaldo. Oh, what a striker. Yes. No, that's a striker. <laughs> oh, I used to love him. I used to watch love him when he played for Barcelona. Yeah. So now we're coming and we're staying at the same hotel. So yeah. there's two, three staying at, at one hotel. Yeah. So the door goes like this. Of course. That round door. Yes. So I said, so it's me, Fis, and my singer. Mm. So I said, as he come out, I'm going to just pouch him like yeah. that. <laughs> because I'm angry. You remember, I wanted to change my jersey with Ron, uh, oh, yes. Romario. Yes, yes, later. And he pushed me away most when I played for, when <laughs> when I played for Corinthians and he was at uh, um, Flamingo. Yeah. And um, so what happened is that uh, he came, as he came to watch, so I'm waiting as he turned, and he walked, and Ronaldo came out, and I just tap and yes. I hit him, like, but nice solid man. Uh. But I'm keeping my understanding now. Uh. <laughs> and now these guys are waiting now. What is he saying? So he's, he's talking there, and I'm, I can speak a bit of Portuguese also. Yeah, of course. Remember, yeah, there's a guy that can only speak Afrikaans. Yeah, it was English, French, and now I follow Portuguese, <laughs> Pokino, so I could speak a bit of Portuguese also. <laughs> so, I, so I'm like turning around, I look, and he looked, and he's like, hey, what's your problem? You know? No, no. He said to Romare for, for, uh, in, 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 in Portuguese. He, fala, he, fala Portuguese. Yeah. he said, hey, what's this guy's problem? He said, uh -huh. no, uh, no, no problem. No uh -huh. problem. He says, um, yeah, but why you bump me? I said, uh, just ask him, uh, Frank, they call me Franco. Yes. Uh, Franco, he jo he jogo Corinthians. Uh -huh. uh, he can change his uh, chocolate jersey, wara, wara, okay. wara. Hey, look, he said, uh, Franco, Corinthians. Uh. I said, he remember <laughs> that, and I laughed, and I walked on. It was a nice middle, feeling. Your middle name is Frank, so they yeah. use, you use they that use, name. They use Franco. Yes. It was a good feeling. Yeah. So then, I'm walking now, coming back, last game. Mm. And I said, 96-0, no games for me. I went to the coach. So you didn't play? Never played. You were not filled. You were part, I was part of the team. To the team, but you never played. You were part of the training squad. <clears throat> Mr. Ivan Koza called me. Yeah. He says to me, Mark, um, there's people that want to see you. What is this? After the tournament? No, no, no. We're yeah. going out. We're going to the game. Yes. Going to the game. Yeah, but. He said, but you can use my room. Um, they, they call it the share. Yes. Yeah. For, for what? For the meeting? They want to meet. They want to meet with me. It's yeah. One of the owners of the team. It's the prince, actually, of one of, the, of 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 Saudi Arabia. Okay. He's the king now. Whoa. He's the king now. Wanted to to speak. He, to he was a coach of Al. He was a, the, the the team. He was a prince of Al Shabab. Okay. So it was all brothers. They had teams in different. Brum Fontaine, Porto. Ah, just like that. So that's it. Yes. And the father had a team in Riyadh. It, it's called uh, the team that Ronaldo is playing. Mm -hmm. That's that's the king's team now. Gotcha. But before he was in other other city. Okay. So he goes there, he's got two bodyguards uh, come in there, sit there. They said, um, what's wrong with you? Uh, you're the guy that scored the two goals, 96. Do you have an injury? We haven't mm. seen you the first game. We haven't no seen play. you. You're Mark Williams. I said, yeah. He said, do you have a problem? I said, no. He said, can you play? I said, what? He said, you know, in five minutes, what? just want to see what's happening. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm going to ask the coach. <laughs> okay. He said, no, we're going to go. Yes. Right? Come to the game. He reads out the team. I'm not in the team. Jeez. So while he's now saying, guys, I wait till he's finished talking, because it was always about respect. There yeah, was of no, course. I call him once and I said, coach, are you going to give me at least five minutes or ten minutes? Something. I, are you going to give me a second half? Something. Yes. I mean, you, did you bring me up for a tour? I could have paid my own flight tickets. <laughs> he says, uh, now I'm still looking. I said, coach, you're looking for what? <laughs> yeah. We lost our two games. Even if we win this game, it's nothing going to happen. It means nothing. It means nothing. He says, uh, I said, you know why? I'll tell you. Right. I'll remind you. Mm. He said, no, that's fine. Go to the game. They played, played, played. Who was who was coach at the time? Clive Barker. Clive Barker. Still, Barker. still Clive Barker. That's where he left his job. Yes. That's where he, for another ten or 20,000. Yes. He wanted more. And they could have given him that. But we would have been a danger team. 98 going to that World Jeez. Cup. Oh. But all that experience we had in that team. Wow. That I was, can talk about that. that no, experience. that was a magic team. You know, and, and we knew each other. We, we, you know, yes, maybe one didn't drink one drink, but mm. we, we, we were a team. Yeah. And yeah. we accepted one. You know, that is very rare. We remember that team as a team. Almost like a team on its own. Yeah, because the team. Beyond, beyond, almost like a club. Yeah, like, yeah, like other they, soccer clubs. Yes. yes. Because, sorry, on, on that, the, 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 the reason why I'm saying that is that uh, which was like a family. Yeah. We we knew each other. Um, it's not, I mean, nowadays you see that team, then you look at another team, then you ask, but mm. where's that other team? Yeah. Are you with me? People Got know. You. Everybody knows the team. Yeah. So, um, 
Hey, you sitting, never played. You never played. And, no. So the, 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 so the wait, prince wait, waited wait, for the you. The prince waited there. <laughs> so 20 minutes, I said, coach. I saw, I said, look there, those people, they just want to see. Uh, please, uh, let, what must I tell them? He says, Williams, warm up. And you warmed up? I warmed up, he gave me 10 minutes. First ball, I came around the keeper. Chip it, a, a lop. Two hands across crossbar, back. <laughs> Second ball, I took out the pace. I hit, I hit the crossbar. Mm. Just with the side of the foot. Hit the crossbar, go, go yes, out. Yes. So I looked at them. They showed me like this. I think there was about <laughs> three minutes left. I walked off the field. Jeez, man. Wow. I said, no. Nah, it's I like I've know. showed you what I And I, I got the do. contract. Signed the contract there. I said, sorry. I'm going to go back. They said, can you come? This is November. Mm. Can you come December? We already discussed because remember, I'm a free agent. Oh, yes. Are you playing for I, Chiefs at I this time? I play for Chiefs, yes. yeah. yeah. So at Chiefs, we have a month-to-month -month contract. Of so course. at the end of the month, I just take my contract. Thank you very much. And then, so now I say to them, look, on one condition, mm. you have to pay the club. But I can bring that figure down and put it in my salary. Yeah, yeah, we can yeah. mix it because I don't want to tax problems. Yes. But this you can put in the Chiefs account. So, I said, when I get here, then I'm going to tell Mr. Kaiser Mutong, mm. the CEO of the club, I will play the two games that you want me to play yeah. on one condition, that you receive the money from club to club. Because that time, the money can only go from club to oh, club. Oh, yes. Before, it was from club to player, club to player. or from club to company. That's where the Texas problem That's comes in. That's the thing. In. Got you. So, uh, Mr. Mutong said, hey, Mark, please, I need you. We're Who's playing. that, Mutong? Yeah, he yes. says, I need you for just two more games. The league games you don't have to, but we're playing bits. And, uh, oh, Rothman's Cup. Rothman's yes. Cup. The Rothman's, yeah. It's still coming. So we play the, the Wednesday mm. night. And um, Roger Desai was a goalkeeper. Ah. He came to me with a couple of words, you know, big words. Ah, you useless. Yeah, I, da, 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 da. <laughs> what, is he, what is he trying to work on your yeah, mind? Yeah, and he was, no, they were good in this. Goalkeepers like that, they were very smart. <laughs> Said you can never kick a ball past me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. And um, yeah. Um, you, you, get, played, you get the two games. With yeah, I, I played the two games on yeah. one condition. That... The club received the transfer fee. Mm -hmm. But in three months when I come back, that money must all go to Williams. We yes. put it in black and white. Of course. Jeez, man. Yeah. How did pe Chiefs perform that season? The uh, they, they, um, I, I was the top goal scorer. They came, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they came second or third. On the league? On the league. And yeah. then the Rothmans? In the Rothmans, they won. We won the I won, I won the Rothmans. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, we played. Uh, we, we went into penalties. Mm. Um, after that, I shook hands. Uh, we already agreed on my contract. You were you know, done. I was done. So yes. I went to Saudi Arabia. And um, yeah. How you, long were you were you at Saudi Arabia? I signed a three-year contract, but my mother passed on uh, two years Ooh, into that. Yeah, She yeah. was with me in England. Well, she was nice, you know, uh, the experience. <laughs> that I, I spoiled that lady or my mother, you know, it was nice times. Yeah. It was the happiest moments of my life. And um, I said to her that when they went to England, they came there for a holiday. Mm. And I said, but if we make the FCON Cup final, you people are on, all have to come. Yeah. And we made the finals and they all came back. Jeez. And they went back to me to England. Because <laughs> money wasn't a problem. You're no, earning pounds a ran up, please, that time. But look, it, was, it wasn't it was about the money. It was all about just that kid that had that dream, that had yeah. that vision, that worked towards it. And uh, here I was in the bigger stages. <laughs> so, um, you know, in Saudi Arabia, when she passed on, I stopped. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I said uh, enough is enough. When you say you stopped, what what exactly did you stop? I stopped football. I stopped. I didn't want to play. Yeah. Because when that little kid that wanted to buy a mother house, that wanted to, I bought houses every year yes. after that. You achieved all but, those goals. But when my mother died, um, something left me. Yeah. You know, we're very close, and um, the prince were we is now the king. Uh, he was phoning me every three months, brother. When you're ready, Come I back. don't mind. Your salary, my salary was paid. Yes. I didn't pay he, pay, he paid me. When he comes down the walk, everybody must put their heads down, bow mm, there. Mm. He'll start from there. Brother Williams, please stand up. <laughs> then I have to lift my head up. Yes. And then I must stand up straight. All the others must bend. When my mother passed on the Friday, we played the Friday. Uh. He said, I'm sorry. But there's, it's like Cape Town and Joburg. So we played in Cape Town. Uh. But Joburg is the main, the, the international flight. He said, I didn't want to tell you, your mother is sick. But the plane in Joburg is waiting for you. Whoa. This is already past him. The, the plane is supposed to be leaving at uh, 10.55. I'll never forget it. Yeah. He said, I got my private jet. Your bag's already been packed. Jeez. Without you knowing. He put it because they were staying in this thing. So they picked, packed my bags. Mm. And he said that, um, yeah, he gave me some dollars. I think 20,000. If you yeah. need it, 
just go and so that I'm sorry, yeah. but we'll wait for you. Yeah. My mother wasn't dead yet. Yes. She was in a coma. Mm. And when I came with this private jet to the main one, people mm. clapping hands were happy. But they say the king said, if this man is not on the flight, this it's not leaving. <laughs> and uh, that was my memories. And they uh, used to phone me. You know, as a brother, I think there's a bond that we had. Mm -hmm. Anything that I wanted, he said, come back. And then after four years or three years, yeah, I said, okay, let me see. Yeah. Maybe I still got the love of it. You know, so you just, came back home and never I never, never left. Never yes. left, just stayed here, just stayed at home. Jeez. Didn't want to play, nobody knew about it. I just went in a dark room, you know, yeah, and then go on holiday, but, uh, you know, mm, it, it you was a big part. It was a big part. Well, was he so the only died. one looking for you, so to speak? Or were other teams inquiring about where whatever happened to Mark Williams? No, he was, look, he was the only one, because remember, I've got a contract with him. Of course. <laughs> so, you know, he was just like, I'm paying you, but I just wonder if you want to come back. Yes. And then I said, okay, I'll come back. This is now after two years. Yeah. A year and a half or two years, yeah. On my way back to him, a Chinese club come in. Ah, in Guangdong or uh, something. No, in Chongqing. Yes. In Chongqing, yeah. yeah. Um, and um, then I got another manager from America. Okay. And he said to me, would you like to play in America? <laughs> and I'm like, yo, what, what, what is wrong with these people? And I said, okay, what? Put on, let's let's see what's on the table. Let's you put talk. on, you put on, you put on. And I said, you know what? That offer, it's a very good offer. Yeah. But that's for a young player like Sean Bartlett. Okay. <laughs> and I'm I not said, a, I'm will, a top guy. Yeah. I said that bonus is that you're giving uh, that salary. It's my bonus money. Mm. <laughs> but thank you for it. I told the, the guy also from there, thank you. The agent that tried to get me, I said, now I'm going to China. Yes. And I was it was it why was was China a a a, a decision you made? No, it was crazy money. Better off far. No, no far, no far, no far. <laughs> no, it was crazy money. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, my food was flung flown from me from from Hong Kong. International food was flying to me to 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 um Chongqing. Cuz you had a different diet. Um I liked my pasta. Yes. So those pasta places were in Hong Kong. Pizza, pasta, pizza, whatever. Pizza, all of that They, they were all there. Wow. So it used to be flown in, flew in for me. <laughs> That's crazy. And uh, if I get in a certain country, my place will be there. I see how people eat snake, they, they eat, uh, they eat the dog. monkey, the, the dog I haven't seen. Yes. You well, know? I must admit, I haven't seen it. Yeah, no, 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 no. I that, hear about that, it. That's, yeah, I don't think so. But anyhow, <laughs> I've been in all the places in China, north, especially up north. Yes. And um, yeah, um, I played it uh, three years. Mm. Uh, won the cup, the FA Cup also. It looks like I'm a cup specialist. Yeah. Um, I scored over 300 goals. What? Yeah. Uh, I played for a team in the second division, mm. but on one condition. that I bring the team up. To the first. To the first. Yeah. And I did that. And um, that was in two years. Um, and the last year, I said, nah, five yeah. years for me is enough. And the coach said, please, man, just one more year with me. Because I was with a coach called Lee sang Su. Mm. He was a national coach for Korea. Everybody knew him. He was a mm. very hard mm. coach. And mm. Unfortunately, I said no. And um, yeah, I, I, I left and I came home. And six months later, he called me again. Please, just come. <laughs> <laughs> and I went there and I'm like, okay, maybe now I must coach. Yeah. You know, I think How that old were you at this time? I was 36. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and in soccer language, it's, it's yeah. towards the end. It's towards yeah. the end, yeah. And... I felt like when I came here, actually, um, I played that that, uh, that six months finish. Mm, mm. The money was crazy. Jeez. You know, it was more about the one, just one big player that played in China, and, uh, <laughs> you know, like Ronaldo. Uh, yes. you know. And um, I came back here and uh, I was going to sign for Swallows. Okay. And for Swallows was, um, I was going to sign per goal, scoring per goal. Okay. Goal, uh, you only pay me if I score. <laughs> wow. So I played for Swallows also. Yes. But then when I came back, Kevin Hunt, a uh, close friend from Hellenic now, yeah. coming back into Joburg, and he says to me, Sakes, do you think you can still do a job? And mm. I said, look, Kev, it's in my blood. I can score goals for yeah. you, you know. <laughs> and um, he said, okay, that's fine. And he went out and uh, went out the morning. He said, tomorrow we'll have an easy session. Yeah. <laughs> but he set me up, actually. Uh, we went to a track in uh, Germiston. Okay. And he made us run 400 meters twice. Now I'm 36, and yeah. I got this, this 800, 800 meters once, four 200 meters, two 200, and then one 1,500. <laughs> I think in the half of that that he wanted us to do, I said, uh, what are you trying? Uh. 
He said, Williams, if you want to play, you're going to have to do it. the tough stuff. Because these boys are doing it. I, I said, yeah. But at one at 100 meters, I could, because I could still sprint. Mm, you know, 100 course, meters, 80 course. meters, yeah. Yes. You're a natural sprinter. But there's one five, 1,500 or 800 meters. Mm. It looked like that. I was standing still and I was going backwards <laughs> while they were going past me. <laughs> and, They're strong, uh, these boys. Yeah, and then I, I looked at him and I said, nah, coach. This is not to me. Say, ah, come on, give it another go. Yeah, keep, keep going. I played, I played, no, I didn't play, but training. And um, I said, nah. <laughs> the next week, Saturday came, I went out again. Ach, and, yeah. and then I realized this would never happen in my soccer career. Yeah. You know, I was so disciplined. Um, I could go out, but I know there's a time. You that I stop, stop and go. And go. Because yeah. I've got a career. And um, I think that is where the media sometimes kills some of our players. Mm -hmm. I used to talk to them, when you see me at the club, don't judge me. Yeah. You don't know how hard I'm training. If I come out, you judge me on the field. Not not here. Not here. Yeah. And I made sure that they know. And if some of them tried to write something and I didn't know, uh, I didn't like it, I would give a personal call and say, next, that must stop. Jeez. One guy came at one night at the club, took some photos. Mm, of you I'm having looking, a good time. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I said to my, sorry, Peacock, who are you? I said, no, I'm from the newspaper from Cape Town. I said, give me that camera. <laughs> took the camera. I said, you come next week and you come and ask for apologize before you get it. <laughs> he said, I said, next time you ask me, you don't just take. What? And the next week he came with his wife. Uh. And he said, uh, I just want to apologize, you know what I did. Um, but I thought it was a opportunity. I said, no, but I'm enjoying myself. Would you like it if you enjoy yourself? And people take pictures and, of you. And he said, no. And I said, I understand. I said, no, your camera is fine. But in future, that's how I want to be treated. Yeah. And we had a great relationship. And that's how I built my relationship with media people. Mm. Um, and I think that is what can kill players today. That's in true. In today, because you see media, it's just media. P media people are waiting, a lot of them, out there waiting for these youngsters. Yeah. Because they don't have the right mindset. Now, if I have to be with, involved in that, I can at least teach them some of these things. Mm. You know, if you don't have a good role model, it's difficult sometimes. It's, it's not easy. They got this big money. How do they spend it? So the only thing for some of them is like go to the club and spend it there. Yeah. But if you got a guy maybe that came where I come from and say, listen, here, why don't you just buy that property? Put a bit of money away here. Use this for that. And that's what we need. Role models that can help our youngsters. It's not about every time having a go at them and put them down. Next. It's not nice to be put down. Not I come from it. I know that feeling. It's what we can do to change it. And, uh, you know, and, and, and like my Diba said, football can change it. But not just football. Any sport can yeah, change it. Yeah. And that's what uh, that's what I want to do. You know, I, uh, I want to make sure that I want to be remembered for giving back. Yeah. Yes, I have my Mark Williams school tournaments in Cape Town. You know, I want to uh, make sure that I, I, it must be the first international. Mm. You know, two of my players out of the tournaments that I had over the years bought their mother's houses. Jeez. Huh? <laughs> it was a story that I told. That story became real. Yeah. You know how made that made me feel to say, I, I was part of it. I told this guy about mine. And, and look at what he's done. Do you think today's players are aware of how short the career is? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Look, I'll be honest with you. I also thought that, look, I don't know, for some other reason... <laughs> I thought I had a long, I had a long career, <laughs> but it's so not. You can't blame them because you yeah, were in the same exact situation. As yes, them. but but for for me and and like you said, is that because if you don't give everything on the day when you play, yeah. you'll feel sometimes that you somehow you came short. Because I believe when I when I could, when understood this game, I became an entertainer. You know, I went onto the field and say, what can I do to make these people happy? So if I start scoring goals, what I'm an entertainer. They're going to always come and watch me. That's true. So wherever I played, I became, I put myself in a movie as that, oh, that's going to, they're going to go home and talk in the text. Hey, man, have you seen what that guy said? And that's how I want to be remembered. That's amazing. And uh, the other day, Travis Cole pulled me down in Cape Town. <laughs> and then what happened? He says to me, um, what are you rushing to? I said, you know what, I'm, I'm with the Coon Carnival, the, you know, the Cubs of Clubs. Uh, uh, it's my culture. Because uh, I was a singer at one stage. Okay. I used to compete with Ronnie Joyce and Jonathan Butler wow. at the age of 13 years old. Yeah, wow. Clubs. Yeah. But they were more talented. Unfortunately, yes. they went. <laughs> they went everywhere. They went for, yeah. I, but I, obviously, mine was soccer. Mm. 
So um, I was there, and the traffic will pull me down, and I'm like, oh, this is Cape Town, it's not sober. Mm. <laughs> he looked at me and says, uh, where are you wrestling? He said, no, I'm, I'm, I have to go there to the club, sir. He said, no, please, man, go there to Kaiser Chiefs, <laughs> and help those strikers to score goals. <laughs> when he said it, I came in a, on a flight. One of the Eos girls mm. gave me a drink and said, can you go help my team? And when she said that, she said, promise me one thing, that you will go and help my team. Mm. I still made a joke, I said, uh, Bayana, Bayana. <laughs> and what did she say? She said, "No, I'm a cozy." Yeah. They got everything there. They don't have. To, they don't have guys to score goals. How many goals have they scored in 2023? They got more go more games than less goals. Ugh. And um, I said, "Okay, I'll do it." Last week on Friday, I got up. Mm. I didn't know what happened. So the spirit took me up, and I went. I took my CV to Nazarene. I went. I got in my car. You drove to Nazarene. Yes. I had a chat with the chairman, Mr. Kaiser Jr., uh. about it about three months ago and said what I wanted to do. And then sometimes I said, if I don't do it, I'm never going to know. Let mm -hmm. me go there. Because yeah. there's two things they can say, it's yes or no. But if they look at the CV, and it's not a bragging rights, <laughs> <laughs> they will see there's do, no do one that can close to that CV. Do you think people at should look at, look at your CV? They don't need to look <laughs> at it. but Google you, it. But <laughs> you, you, you get certain people that uh, you know i'm not here to compete with anybody you yeah. know but uh, you look at the goals that i've scored yeah i think that um, over the years uh, there's no there's not you can count them uh, yeah. i don't even think somebody's got more goals than me That's in south true. africa yeah you know but if you say bafana ben has got the most goals of course. if you say accolades yes ben has got a champions league mm. you know you can't take that away and but it's what you do with all the knowledge that you've got was your CV well received? It was well received by Mr. Mutka. I must say, to yeah. the, guy, the chairman. Uh. Uh, he was sitting there, he just said he had a bit of cold. Mm. I went there to the training field, I watched the guys, they came up after training, shook my hand, yes. it was like we know each other, you know, Kuhn, <laughs> he came there, how are you Mr. Williams? Do you saw even the how players, the guys walked into the studio, they were so excited to see you. Yeah, well, I saw this, I didn't yes. even know that, you know. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, and, and, and that's what you want to do. You know, you just want to say that this God-given talent that God given me. Yeah. It's sad. People always want to say, hey, but we never got somebody that they had to give it over to. Yeah. And for me is that I need to give it over to the That's next generation. Yeah. And next generation. 27 years later, Bafana hasn't won nothing. I think you asked me that first question, what must we do? Mm. We need players to be hungry to play overseas. Um, now, Morocco players that uh, came so far, mm. they played as a team. There was no great individuals. Same like Bafana. We didn't have great individuals, but we played as a team. Yeah. So if you can do that, but you need some experience when we, because when you play against these Brazils, uh, um, Spain, uh. then the experience kick in the national team. But you need your locals who just plummet with, you know, with that raw talent. Look at this picture. None of them is alive, unfortunately. Wow, wow, wow. You know these guys well. I know them very well, Cesar. Phil was, uh, after Cesar, it was it's, shoes. Yes, and then great. Phil... And where did John wait? John me wait. Somebody sent me the pic, man. And uh, he said, yeah, it's like a cross. I said, it's not a cross. It's crazy. Because if you have to make it like that, it's a different side of a cross. Uh -huh. And they were all together. Yes, I just picked that's it up why like that. Yeah. In this team, they were all together and they're all not they're, around. They're not around. Four, four of the team, yeah. And this is a team that has won so much over the years. S some good players. It's some crazy. good, some great players here. All I can say, I want to go in the rural areas. I want to give back. Yeah. Yes, the minister is doing something good now. He's got a school, school ambassador sport, mm. cricket, rugby, tennis. So he's got all some legends there that's helping hmm. to change it. But yeah. we need more. I don't know if this has happened. Has Chiefs called you back? We're waiting. They I'm hoping that, um, well, um, they have to make the choice. You know, yeah. there's no hard feelings. But they made it. Uh, you made it clear what you. I made what it clear. You're no, no, they know yeah. it. Uh, I mean, uh, Mr. Mutahun came to me and said, "I hope you're not asking crazy money," because well, I know that hard. time I was a person that was <laughs> money for goals. Yes, you money, know. Oh yeah, money that was your goals. deal. Money for gold. Remember, I went to church with Mrs. Kaiser Mutahun. Yeah, and this was very spiritual, you know. And um, for me, it was uh, you know, uh, I, I, I had great respect for, for Mr. Kaiser Mutung for what he has achieved mm. and for how far the team come. Mm. But big teams need to win trophies for the fans. That's true. Unfortunately, that is how you get remembered. Yeah. It's not um, the team and just being a team. Um, I think people say Sundance are buying the team. 
Chiefs have got money. Yeah. But they need somebody that can also give them just the right players. Actually, because uh, I, I realized that it's an argument that continues mm-hmm. about money in soccer, in South right. African soccer, uh, that uh, Chiefs Sundowns is ruining the game and so forth. You know, there's, there has to be a balance of money and so forth. You just said Chiefs has the money. It, uh, because I got the fans. Yeah. You see, if you put all that fans to give 100. <laughs> one rent. One rent. Enough, I'm yes. just making an example. No, true. You know, everywhere you go, it's it's a team's a team's home game, yeah. so they got That's the fans so, and they know so that. True. But the, t- the 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 fans are hungry, yeah. and you want to keep them there. And I think that, for me, that can make that difference because if you score goals, that means that other team can score. Mm. But it is something that I need to work. I need to get the job. I can't say it. And it, I won't be. There won't be hard feelings. No, if, if they, they give it to anybody. Back. No, yes, no, no. Yes. I would just ex- expect them maybe to call and say, look, uh, yes, you. We, we're gonna have a. With the technical, we're going to call you in. Mm. We're going to ask you, why do you think you should get the job? Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. think if they do that, they're going to make a mistake because then I will tell them why. <laughs> you know, and uh, so they give me that opportunity. They give me that opportunity because that's all I need yeah. to get that opportunity. And that's I saw true. them. But look, at the end of the day, it was nice. It's a big team when you play for Chiefs. I played for them. It was, uh, it was. It's Magic, it's crazy yeah. how people love the this, the, the, the team. Sunderlands will never have the support that they have. Yeah. And um, you know, like I said. For them, they just need to buy the right players. What makes you think that, that what sets Chiefs apart even now from that perspective of the type of, of support that it has? You even said Sundowns will never get that kind never. of support. What sets them apart? Look, the system is it's a, it's a team that comes from the from the rural areas. Yeah. When people had nothing to do in those days, there was Chiefs, mm. Chiefs 11. So everybody was there. There was Pirates 11. I'm just making examples. Mm, Swallows. Mm, yes. So these are teams that will always have the heart. The roots the, are the roots, the roots are there. But with those roots, you need to give them silverware. Yeah. It's a somewhat sell with, with Manchester City, you know, with Liverpool and things like that. They got the roots. Arsenal, Gunners. Yeah. I mean, they got a lot of support, you know. Just their system is different. Mm-hmm. You know, their system is where they from, that's where the most support is, but not Chiefs. You go to Durban, they make the field, they, <laughs> they chop up the block, I Cape Town, they chop up the block. Everywhere. So everywhere, but uh, you look at the end of the day, it's like I said, that team needs to become like a, a family. Yeah. You understand? Um, people asking about the coach, I'm not much interested in the coach. The coach needs to know what, what he needs mm. to make sure that they can beat and Other it's not teams, they can't beat. Yes. See, it's not that they can't beat Sunos. They can beat Sunos, but it's when they play against other teams. That's mm. where Sunos beat the other teams, <laughs> and that's the difference between yeah. any of the other teams and and Sunos. They beat the teams that the top teams are losing against that's the true. top four, and that that's how you win leagues. Do you know it's something that I'll, I'll always say? I'm a Sundowns fan through and through. I was born in Mamelodi. It's nothing I can do about where I was born. All right. Uh, I was exposed to Sundowns from a very early age. You couldn't, you can't shake that. I know where, where Jesse Queen. We spoke about him. I know exactly where he used to sleep. <laughs> wow. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, all these players, Juas, Juas, oh. all those players, we know yeah. exactly where they're from uh, in the hood as well. And and you always look at it and say, in this day and age, with the sundowns that we have today, mm. my biggest fear is the day we lose a game <laughs> because uh, we win so much. You see, but that day will come, and we accept it for what it is. Sure. But but with all the love I have for sundowns, I have enormous respect for Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. Because as, a, as an institution, sure. You know, as an organization. Yes. Because, yes. Because well, because, because, yeah, because their story we know mm. it so well, and and yes. and that's why I say, and and that's why I asked you. What is it? What is what makes them special? And you answered it exactly the way I thought you would. Their roots and their history yeah. is so strong that you can't shake it. You you, you have boys in Mamelodi in my hood who support Chiefs with all their heart. Yeah, Do you know. And for me, that's such an enormous amount of history that you can't. History is history. You can't erase it. You can't. And and yes, people are gonna say that your um, son knows it's, it's ruining the game, and you must put a certain tag on it. Mm. Um, they will still do it. They will. Still have that tag maybe they'll say they'll buy five players but they'll buy the right players yes that's important yeah uh, where i find that um that is the difference between them and pirates pirates had at one stage last year some great talent mm. <laughs> but off the field yeah yeah that, that's, that's the difference that argument for me always yeah i don't understand it, it because it is. because some of the players sundowns buys them when they're not that great yeah and they get better and better and better example is zungu 
who just joined now. Right. And he's been, even people are saying, wow, he looks better. You mm-hmm. know, when he joined uh, Sundowns, he yeah. wasn't as sharp as he's become. Right. People like Shalulile come from other teams where they're not, they were not top goal scorers in the league. Yeah, yeah. They came to Sundowns and they started shining. I know it sounds like I'm justifying my team, mm-hmm. but I don't understand this. But I'll tell you one thing, which I'm happy for. Mm-hmm. When you were playing for Chiefs, you were earning 35,000 rands. If you were playing for Chiefs today with that talent, you'd be earning more. Yeah. Yeah, if Dolly is, I think if Dolly is on 800 to 1.2 or 1.6. Yeah. A month. Yeah, as a striker, no, of course, I would probably broke the, broke the, broke the bank. Exactly. Yeah, because uh, like you said, I mean, it is a talent that, that I, you, you see, players need to know. Mm. That's why I said it's easy. You see, some of those players come from super sport. They go to Sundowns. Yeah, that's like happened Rowan, a lot. It, it happened yeah. like Rowan. Yeah. He knows it. Mm-hmm. So he, when I asked him, how was it? He said, Mr. Williams, I'm happy. Yeah. They gave him an opportunity to make money. That's it. Because at super sport, he didn't make money. Yes. He was one of the top five. But when he went there, he said to me, he made money. Mm. You know, I said, I'm happy. Yes. And I hope that, you know, he says, no. I've got this, I've got that, I did this. So it lifted the standard of the game and it lifted the standard of the revenue. So so you can vilify and say all the nasty things about Sundowns and yeah. probably Royal AM as well because mm-hmm. that's what they're doing. That, that's what you have to do. It lifted the salaries so high that they earn more than some executives. Now some players actually from international that's playing there are prepared to come to South Africa. Imagine that. I have seen... A couple of players now asking me, hey, are you Asian? Can you set this up? We want to come back here. And I know they can still play <laughs> yes. because it's a lovely country. Yeah. People must have get, yes, we got load shedding. We have crime. You know, we got <laughs> crime. We got this. Uh, they always say, um, if you go to the wrong place, you go to trouble, you'll get trouble. You'll find it. And that's that's how I believe, <laughs> how I roll yeah. all my life. So I made sure that even if I was in there, I don't go look for it. Mm. I don't go there. Because if I go there, I know what's going to happen. I'd rather go there and there where I know what's not going to yeah. happen. And that is something how I sort of just created my life in exactly. my set pieces. If I wanted to be in, in football, you need to be around football players. If you want to play golf, which yeah. I'm now single handicap, and, mm-hmm. and then, well, then you'll do get that. There. <laughs> you'll you know? get one. <laughs> so th- that is how, it, you know, if you go to the club, you can go and enjoy yourself. Yeah. But there's a time we say, okay, listen, I had enough. Mm. You can, you know, rug- in rugby also, you know, the other day, one of our, you know, uh, sort of great players, Elton Yankees, mm. you know, how they expose him. Clive would have never done that. No. You know, as a rugby player, it's, I, I be called, when you, t- when you say national team, if it's a club, there's a difference. That's true. But because of the national team, we know each other, the bone, the skin, we in cold water together. They could have called him one side. Mm. I'm hoping they did that. And it's not the first time. Yeah. And say, listen here, what happened is unacceptable. But to expose him from the, the national team. Not. He did this, he did that. Yeah. The money is sorry. Yes, he could have said, let me sort it out. Give me some time. I didn't have that. Mm. But, um, you know, um, in that position, there was four guys. I watch rugby. I love my rugby. <laughs> yes. They know it. <laughs> and I said, the only reason why they do it, because I wanted to get less pressure off one of the other players. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, because Paul, had, when he plays and he had a bad game, he still plays. Mm. When Elton has a bad game, take him off. And it's not about because the color is black. No, no, no. certain that. players, and I know because you can ask me stats about when the Boca plays, I'm there. I'm at the VIP. Jeez. You know, I it know like that everything. Much. I know. Yes. <laughs> I can tell them who is your next player that's going to play in that. Ross, there's a guy I told him he'll play in for, for the Boca this year. He played for them. Yeah. I can tell them about certain things and they're like, why don't you just do analyze on, on, on rugby? <laughs> do the analysis and, on rugby, yeah, not, on rugby soccer. not soccer. Yes. And I'm like, yeah, maybe I should, but uh, I think that maybe it will come out a bit. I, 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 I wish you, I wish you, I wish Casey Chiefs calls you. No, thank you for that. I appreciate it. I really, that. really do. I wish Kaiser okay. Chiefs calls you. And uh, like I said, I'm a dance fan, but I, your talent can be wasted. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it, it, if somebody has to use what you know, you've played in, I'll try to remember, you've played in Belgium. You've played in South Africa, of course. Uh, you've played in, in, in London, in England. Uh, you've played in, um, in Brazil. you played in China. Uh, you played in um, uh, Saudi Arabia, or yes, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Uh, you've been here. There's a team. I don't know where you play. You're after after Miguel Warriors. Miguel Warriors. Yeah, no, yeah. And P. 
in peace. Is that yeah, in no, no, that was crazy when I got there. I only played five games. Where was that? <laughs> it was in P. There was a, a guy. Uh, it was crazy. Paddy Byrne, the coach at the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. I was on holiday, actually. A three-month holiday. <laughs> he says, me, put your mind signing for the three months before you go back. <laughs> and you did. Wow. Yeah, I played with I played two two and two months, and my last game was against Pirates. I wasn't big bonus. I think my bonus was something like like ten thousand or seven thousand a goal, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's crazy. Yeah, and I played, and uh, my last game against Pirates PE, uh, they flew me to the airport because the boss had private jets. Yes, and then I went back. Yeah, but it, it was crazy. <laughs> so you played in so many countries. You played Thanks. top flight soccer in so many countries. You're probably one of the few in the country that's done that. Yeah. We cannot waste you. I'm being dead serious. What do you do now? Yeah, well, what, um, what occupies your time? So, I've got, um, I've been blessed, um, you know, I've, I've, I'm second time married. I've mm -hmm. got a wonderful wife. Yeah. Um, we've been together for 11 years. Oh, that's great. And um, God bless us with a beautiful daughter. She's now two years and four months. She's your new dad. New dad, yeah, <laughs> 56. <laughs> um, like I said, we've been together for 11 years. Yeah. Uh, she's been up here. I met her in Cape Town. Mm. And then, you know, I played golf. Um, yeah, and there I do still a little bit stuff for Super Bowl, like not like before. Yes, yes. I used to do some games and things like that. Uh, they saw probably got better things, I don't know what. Yeah. But like I said, um, you know, I want people to know it's not the first time that we talk about a striker coach. Mm. Um, it is a gift. The gift can only be given to something that knows what he's got. Yeah. And if you're not going to let that person know what it is, then you saw him about you and that's how you pick up so the first choice was to go to the family with Kaiser 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 Chiefs mm. and 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 hoping that they call me but if not there's other doors that's going to be open after that's this true. but I thought let me give them the first option um I had been called that said hey why didn't you come here why didn't you come yeah. it will be a decision making for me to do I really want to go in Durban Mm, I'm not going to mm. say where. Um, <laughs> so give but me, there's two you, teams. You give the impression there's, that there's, a, yeah. there's, a, there's some the, inquiry. There is. Uh, yeah. You know, at, at one stage I was going to be technical director with my friend Penny McCarty. Okay. A, and in where? In Cape at, Town? At, no, no, no. At Amazon. Oh, Amazon. At Amazon, yes, yes, yes. yes. We and the chairman, we were, uh -huh. so a 90% deal was done. Yeah. Um, but uh, Benny, you know, he said like it is probably, I don't know where you get that, not from me. <laughs> you guys are very similar, out, yeah. just in case you don't, you don't know, you're very okay, similar. Okay, I didn't know that. I think it's just a straightforward. <laughs> yes, it's a Cape Town. Uh, yeah, <laughs> suppose, uh, you know, you, yeah, because you never had a time to say the way you wanted to yes. say it. And um, so I think there's other people that appreciate it uh, yeah. if I go to them, which I never touched on them on this. Yes. I, I want to have a show on okay. Super Sport. Okay. Like where I can show strikers when they miss it, this is what I think they should do. Ah, Almost like the referee when they call him. Got you. You understand? And so they can go up and say, wow, maybe I should have done I that. I should have done I, this. That. Yeah. And then we're just educating them. Yeah. You know, where they're doing it everywhere. So why not? So I'm hoping that, you know, if it doesn't work, somebody comes and says, Mr. Williams, we've got a slot for you. Yes. Let's talk about this week's game. Let's take a game like Sundowns. Let's take a man yes, like well, yeah. AM. What do you think this striker should have done? Mm. And then I will say, well, I think the run that he did was wrong because uh, Dup Dupria, yes. the, ch the stri strike at Kaiser Chiefs, mm -hmm. he's got pace. So for me, is that when there's a defender, he's here. He doesn't have to be there. He can be there mm -hmm. because he's got the pace to go past him. Why must he be here? All this defender do does that, then he's offside. And it's, it's already here. He's offside. Yeah. So, you know, those are small things. But it's effective if you tell him how to do those yeah, runs. Yeah. Half a moon, make like you go near post, go for a post, go for a post, go near post. That's how I score my goals. I wasn't a great kicker, 20, 40 meters. No, mm. I was always in the kitchen. Yeah. And the kitchen is where, where things happen. It's the 18, it's hot. The 18, 18, it's 18 area, box. like Benny yes. McCarthy would yes. say. So if you're not in the kitchen, you're not a striker. Yeah. So I will quick identify who is strikers if they give me the team. Mm -hmm. Because I will watch and I say, but why are you there? Then I'll say, but okay, let's give him benefit of the doubt. A couple of trains, I was, mm -mm, this one is a midfielder or is attacking yeah. striker. Yes. But if you can take the heat, then you're my, then you're my man. I so, can work with you. So you, you are available. I'm available. But like I said, you know, I, I, I want to have respect. I, I think I deserve that by if I give my CV to some person and just yeah. call me and say, look, thanks, we have chosen somebody else and then I will make it available for somebody else. Would you take up the big job of being a coach of a team? At first, um, many times I thought about it. Mm. You see, 
how you learn this game as a player because you you got coached by coaches true so you got a piece of every coach how to be yeah coach is like a father figure you don't have to fight with a player you don't have to shout to him mm-hmm. he knows what you want him to do mm-hmm. especially south african mentality if i give you too much information by the time the game starts half of that is gone yeah i've seen it happen with one player he was at pirates he was the captain mm. They gave him the information. Five minutes he forgot about it. They had to write it on a piece of paper. <laughs> and he chowed that paper. And they give him the and paper. He picked, <laughs> and he had to look. I know. So the less you gave players. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about South Africa. I, have, I don't know about Zimbabwe, mm, and, but mm. I'm talking about South African mentality. The less you give the guy, he'll do the job. True. So I've got that experience. You know, I wasn't a FIFA, a FIFA coach, mm-hmm. beach soccer coach, because I did, I, I did the, 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 the mental part. I did the training part. Yeah. You know? There's nothing different. It's only you're playing on the beach and you're playing living on the sand. If I would, I would love to have the challenge um, to take it. You know, I, I love challenges. Yeah. But like I said, um, I probably get the best out of a lot of players because that's how it is. That's the that's the job, if really. You, I think Pep, he's got talent and get the best out of them. Yeah. You know, because now it makes it much easier. And then we go back to your team at Sundance, you've got three coaches. Mm. The one helps the other one because a bigger team take a bit of press off. True. So when I don't need to talk, I bring the defending coach or goalkeeper coach in. Yeah. You talk for five minutes. Let me just sit and look at them. But what is important is my message to a player and say, mm. listen, yeah, today you're playing. I want you to go out there and enjoy the game, man. Yeah. I know what you can do. Now you got it. Now show me what you can do. Yeah. That's all. There's a, there's a message that I had once from uh, 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 Coach Pito. Mm. He said, you never have to coach. There are certain players you never have to coach. You don't need to. They know exactly what they're supposed to do. You don't need to. Yeah. That's it. For me, too much. If you give me too much information, you can ask Gavin. I'll be defending. What What am I doing defending? <laughs> you gave For me, it was all to say, Mark, get the ball to Williams. Yeah. He'll score. And believe <laughs> me, I was with one foot at one stage. Mm. The first time I picked up an injury at the Linux, my hamstring. It's actually funny. And I went to the physio. Mm. This was the, the Wednesday, the Thursday. So I come to the training and Budgie Burn called me. He yeah. s- said, Mark, what happened? I said, Budgie, when I press the button, I press, I press. And the guy, the physio just said, hi, this is John. Please leave a name and number. I'll get back to you. <laughs> and I'm waiting and I'm waiting for him. <laughs> <laughs> he said, didn't you leave a message? I said, no. He said, please leave a name and number. So I'm like, yeah, but I'm downstairs here. <laughs> He didn't say, hey, it's Mark, I'm, I'm downstairs, and it's fine, he we'll says talk me, later. Go home, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, we played against Cosmos yes. at the heart level. And now, I can't, I can't run uh, on yeah, one you've foot. injured your foot. I, I, yeah, it's, it's, you know, first uh. time I, I, I He says, uh, go for a fitness race before the game, you know. I ran with one foot, mm, hopping mm. the players. Now the players are thinking they're looking at me. He picks a team. Um, you, Gavin, da, 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 and Williams. How? <laughs> Williams is struggling to walk. <laughs> to walk. <laughs> he take a bandage, he, he ties it. I can't run. I'm trying to run. Probably from here to there. Guess what was our time score? Yeah. 2 0. Who scored? We. Williams. <laughs> Ask Gavin Hunt how I scored the goals. The corner came. As I want to hit the ball, I did my soul the top corner. Yes. So the ball came to me. So I'm. I, I wanted to kick with my right foot, but then I realized can't. I, I can't kick it. Mm. So when I miss, I, I stop this foot and kick it with a left <laughs> top, top corner. So he said to him, now, you guys said Williams can't play. He scored two goals with one leg. Yeah. You must stop now. <laughs> they, they don't know score. That's so, amazing. You know, that's that's the, I've got that. Yeah. that. That is something, like you said, you don't have to certain places. You no. don't have to. Some so I think I've got the ability to do it, but I never looked in it because I thought I've got a special breed, which is striker coach. Yeah. What do you think has changed about about the game from your time when players were earning as little as three thousand five hundred rands uh, to to the game that we playing we're playing now where. You get a player that's earning 500,000 rands a month. That, that's unheard of. Your 35,000 achieves was a lot of money. Yeah. And, and now we're talking about someone that's earning five times, 10 times, 20 times that. What has changed? I think the game, the game has changed a lot also. Um, so that's why you'll see it's only the good players. There's no more Mickey Mouse players. Mm. I mean, uh, there's a couple of players that I thought that could have gone far. 
but they themselves they didn't believe it. They didn't have the respect for the game. Mm. They talked about this young player on Bully. Yeah. That played at Sundowns. Mm -hmm. I think he had a brilliant potential. Of course. But um, whatever he was doing, he was never going to achieve when I see him now. Yeah. And I looked up to this player because it was a player that I thought just got tremendous talent. Incredible. And that shows you what this game does. Yeah. It's just like it, it, it turns you quick. The players in then that we had, they knew what they, they, this game Mm. What, what, where, mm. what, where they're getting their bread and butter. Of course, of course. And they, they, they took every moment, every minute, and gave what they can. Yeah. And that's why they had so much rewards out of it and less money. Mm. The mm. players nowadays, they got more money and less mm. rewards. <laughs> yes. So the game at Saints Technical has been a lot. You get a coach in different departments. Um, I've always said that, you know, when I wanted to be back, uh, I'm the only South African player that traveled and played in so many countries. Yeah. It will be said that all the knowledge that I've got that nobody's taking advantage. Mm. And I, I used to be a striker coach at uh, Supersport for Kevin Johnson. Okay. He said to me that, Mark, there's one thing I would like you to do because I, can't, I don't have it. I don't know what it is. Mm. You strikers, you can feel it. And it's true. Mm. And uh, two of the players, Kumala was one of them. Yeah. And uh, people must interview him, ask him, the year after that, he scored plenty goals at Ajax. Jeez. The other two guys got top goal scorer at Tux because I took them for four months. Mm. Imagine if as I was a striker a, coach. A striker coach. Yeah. I went to Stellenbosch, um, which I did about two years just before COVID, mm. but um, never came up with an offer uh, because that is what I, what I believe yes. I could do. Yeah. You know, to just uh, because you can play the best football, but if you don't put the ball in the net, you know, Peter Salulu, yeah, Peter Salulu, I like this player. Yeah. I liked him because I wanted to take him overseas. And unfortunately, Sundance took him. I think he's got a lot of potential. He himself doesn't know it's scary. Yeah. Because he's playing at Sundance, he's scoring uh, every second game per goal. He could score every three, uh, every game, three, four goals. <laughs> he can. So um, I liked him, you know, but I think that if I can have the opportunity to work with these type of players, I can understand, I can make them understand to visualize. Do we have many of those type of players? There is, there is. Mm. But they themselves don't know it. That's the sad part of it. Oh, they don't know it? They don't know it. Ah. If somebody's not going to tell them, because they'll score goals and they're like, I oh, know, I'm a midfield, no, I, I, I think I'm this. As we conclude, do you think the game of soccer has looked after you? The game of soccer and the person that I believed in, you know, uh, God has blessed me. Yeah. Um, I can't say no. I mean, I was with the highest, highest people. I was flying private jets in and out from China to Hong Kong for weekends, mm. meeting the right people, playing against top players. Senator Zidane, when he was still young, and I said, one day he will be one of the greatest players. Romario, Ronaldo, you know, some great players I played against. And I played with also, I was calling the World Lebanese team with George Weir sure. when he was in America, yeah. when I was in Belgium. And, um, you know, uh, my country, for the fans that, that, that always believed in me, mm. you know, I, I hope I never let them down, you know. And not the goals I scored, but like I said, I then became an entertainer and so that whatever happens, they'll always talk about me. Yeah. And that's an entertainer. That's true. You know, so... Um, the game really looked after me. Um, mm. When I came back here, 2002, I stopped. I had some great people, you know, worked at Supersport, doing international. They used me to do international sport. I was the coach of uh, beach soccer coach. I was a FIFA instructor. Mm. Traveled the world with FIFA first class. Picked up with Mercedes Benz. Uh, being a coach in Dubai and Italy for beach soccer in England. Uh, traveled with Cantona. And, um, you know, in one game at beach soccer, my team was down 8-0 playing against Nigeria World Cup qualifiers. Mm. I scored eight goals and we drew 8-8 eight, eight in 12 <laughs> minutes. That's crazy. It's, um, you know, at 40, I think it was 45 or 40 years, 42 somewhere. Yes. And, um, you know, this was a young team and, this, and, and I just went up there and I did things that was natural. Uh. Uh, but I said, uh, the game has really taught me super sport people, you know, the super sport family for giving me that opportunity for all these years, yeah. you know, to, to, to showcase uh, what, I've, what I've learned so that I can talk about it. You know, I must say for the directors and everybody being there, uh, thank you for them for, for, for supporting me. Um, 
you know behind the scenes sometimes they want to know it because mm. i'm somebody uh, when you play golf you'll see me on the golf course <laughs> and i met a lot of good people so um with good friends you know i mean uh, i can mention them but uh, i don't have a lot but you know i've got a few yeah and um, i always say that uh, for for a kid um if you work hard in any sport any game the game will look after you That's and unfortunately true. it has looked after me mark frank williams uh, to us you're a star thank you that's why on this show we do one thing we celebrate great south africans and some some are well known like yourselves and some are just ordinary folks who just do a, an amazing contribution in their corner and that's why when 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 in a discussion when your name came up i said absolutely there are very few like him and we're lucky that he's still here he's still strong he still wants to to, to contribute to the game and for that reason we need him on the show to say, Esizulu Siabonga. <laughs> we are grateful. Thank you very much. You're an incredible South African and, and one that, that I think we, we don't celebrate enough. And I, it's our fault. You know, we, and I'll, uh, let me apologize on behalf of all South Africans. <laughs> we are dealing with load shedding. We are too busy. <laughs> we are too busy. We have too many problems. But we don't celebrate so great South Africans enough. You're one of those. Your story is not only intriguing, it's also quite shocking. And I think, I think there's something special about your character. The streetwise Cape Town boy stays with you forever. And I'll tell you where it comes out. Where you got the crowd to say William that <laughs> moment is one of those key moments and there are many I'm sure people will pick up a lot of those stories as they watch this you are a special special South African and we're very lucky and I'm, some, I'm, some, I'm sure sometimes when you look at your history you say it, they were not so bad those experiences because they made you the character that you've become yeah. that they're, they're being um, <clears throat> in the gangsters and all of that and all of that and it's it made a complete Mark Williams that has become a super a world superstar I hope if Case the Chiefs doesn't hire you another team does and you do magic for them thank you very much no, thank you very much Dave, and I really appreciate that yeah. thank you for being on the show wow yeah Mark Thanks. Williams everybody <clears throat> uh, he was once called Franco in Brazil <laughs> thank <laughs> sure, you very sure. much thank you thank we you appreciate nice. the time you've given us Play thank pleasure. you again man pleasure we thank you very much it. wow pleasure. that's that's uh, Mark Frank Williams everybody an amazing star let me tell you King King David Studio Podcast.